I don't know if I have a hall pass of anybody. I'm like, oh, that person would be a great person to have a hall pass with. George Clooney's wife? Just to say you hooked up with George Clooney's wife? Like, just me and Clooney. I don't think any girl is going to be okay with just having me once. But that's <laughs> that's okay. my issue with okay. the hall pass thing. Is that I think people are going to be like, yo, I think I, I can see myself being with him. And I'm like, sweetheart, this was a hall pass. It expired already. I'm not going to be with you. Uh, AOC. Huh? I'm trying to think of somebody outside of your world that like you Did wouldn't. Did you say AOC? Yeah. I was saying that you wouldn't organically meet. Because it's hard for Sterling to pick a hall pass because he has celebrities on his show every yeah, fucking day. True. So, but I, so I was trying to think of somebody who would never be on your show. I don't know. Maybe AOC jumps on ridiculousness. Sure. You think so? Maybe ridiculousness. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Oh, you ever oh. think about that, Sterling? That you're somebody else's hall pass? Would you be flattered or would you feel kind of fetishized if somebody said, hey, that's my boyfriend across the bar, but we've agreed you're my hall pass. Would that be exciting or would that be like kind of fucked up? Um, I, I, don't, I don't think I would be okay with the fact that it's just a one and out for me. It's like, I don't, because I know if like me and, uh, okay. It, it, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a, let me break it down. Let me ask questions here. Cause my question is, is the hall pass, are we like, just does the hall pass? No, it's just sex. We walk in, we have sex, we leave. Or is it like we get a day with the hall pass? Uh, Cause a full day, that hall pass is going to be like, yo, I like you. And you're gonna try I'm to gonna romance the fuck her. Out of his heart, but you're oh. gonna try to romance her out of her fiance. No, I don't have to try. I don't have to so, try. So a girl walks up to you at a bar in in a, in a different city, and and she, and you're not, and you are a single man, and you are. I'm in a uh, single band. I said you're a single man. Oh, this, single man in the circumstance, just and me and, a, and a woman is like, "Hey, me and my fiance over there saw you." And he's like this tall redheaded dude. And she's like, and we both agree, you're my hall pass. No, I would feel like number one, tall <laughs> redheaded dude sounds like they on some fucking mandingo ass. Come You'd feel fetish. Come cuck hold my fucking wife, you racist piece of shit. Okay. I don't wanna come here and fuck your wife. So it no, depends what shit. they look like. Then, yeah, but then if his wife is hot, I'm like, let's get to the race. <laughs> let's get to the race conversation. <laughs> what do you want me to do again? I have to dress and wear what? No, I'm not with that. <laughs> Okay, say it's a black couple and they come over and they're like, hey, you're my hall pass. But I'll be like, nah, fam, because like a hall pass, like, I'm your, you're my hall. I feel like I've had couples do this before. They they have said that? Like I've had, no, not, not verbatim, not like, oh, you're my hall pass. But I think I've had like, my wife totally thinks you're hot. I mean, she always says like, <laughs> do what you want. You guys are what you no, it's your wife now. Be, no, but 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 because it's never about like it is probably the wife a little bit. She probably says some stuff here and there, but then the husband is a weirdo as well that wants her to fuck you. Mm -hmm. So then he's like, This is weird, right? <laughs> she really thinks you're hot. And you're like, oh man, well thank you. No, nice to meet y'all. Oh well you two talk. I'm gonna go it, slip out of here. No, it's no he has a crush too. He never slips out. He he promotes. <laughs> he's like, Oh my wife, yeah, you should really do it. I'm joking. Where am I? And then you're like, <laughs> what? What? We no, have a what? <laughs> we have a penthouse suite down the street, but I'm just kidding. But we do have the penthouse suite, and you can't. <laughs> it fuck is my down life. the street. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't think I'd be okay with it. I don't think I'd be okay. I I wouldn't be okay with like I don't like the fact that you're bringing the couple to me. <laughs> Why can't I just be at all pass with one single woman by herself? But, uh, okay, okay. So she walks up and she goes, "My fiance is in here, but." Your my hall pass. I'll say, all right, you fine. You kind of fine. Like, have him send you a field trip signature in writing, <laughs> and I might take you home tonight. And if she can get him to send over a DocuSign in the time that we at the bar, then she can go home with me. <laughs> DocuSign, a sign easy, whatever she need. I don't know. Just all I'm saying is, if she can prove, I don't that's care. The mark up a PDF, whatever you want. Forge his fucking signature. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I need it on the paper. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I don't know if a fiance isn't attractive to me. Like, it's not attractive. I use the word fiance. You on did, like, purpose. three times. It's not <laughs> yeah, to be like, to be like, they're at really a peak of their, they're at a make or break point. Yeah, and I'm going to break her in half. <laughs> you, might break, you might break the relationship. No, I don't, no, I don't, um, yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm down with it. Wait, are you down with it? Or are you like, yo, man? So somebody I, approaches you and they're I, like, yo, my fiance, because I guess I got to go with fiance for you. Oh, fuck. My fiance. Okay, my girlfriend. My, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm into it. I think, I think I suddenly feel weird if you like know who I am and you're like, 
you're like, I'm with you. I, I want to be with you. Cause I know who you are. I, that was never attracting me when I was single. I was just kind of like, no, nah, like the whole fan. Going you ain't never smashed like, a girl. Off the fact that you knew of who you were. She knew. I mean, you're a fucking liar. Maybe I've dated girls who knew dated. Who oh, I you're still a PCS. Like when I, when I was a girl who, who knew <laughs> clean, I was clean. <laughs> yeah, <signing> off, <laughs> clean as shit. I've definitely had girls approach me and be like, oh, I'm a big fan. They'd be fine as hell. And, and they'd be, be like, fan, okay. Yeah. So. I, I guess so. But, I, but it must be, it's different if they're like, and we've talked about you and this is the circumstance where you can go, where we can go home with you. But you're weird. Well, for, why is it a weed thing? Why do you keep being like, we can go home with you? You're not coming home with me, bro. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you stand right here until I bring her back. Yeah, they, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then again, yeah, I, I might be okay with as a single man, which I'm not. And my girlfriend is right <laughs> Sounds there. Sounds like someone's scared. <laughs> what? I can't make a good web sound, but there it was. How was Vegas? You just got back from the opening of Delilah in Vegas? I did. Were there any hockey teams there? <laughs> no, there were no hockey teams this time. I mean, if there were, we didn't we didn't notice them. We didn't see them. <laughs> the hockey team wasn't The hockey teams were blending in. <laughs> they all got their teeth done for the fucking opening. <laughs> uh, but no, no, it was super. It was cool, man. You know, you know, like being sometimes in like Hollywood circles is overwhelming. It is because you like, and not to try to sound like no motherfucker that thinks I'm like cool because I'm like, alright. But like when you know a lot of people too, and like people like genuinely like you and stuff, it just becomes a lot if you don't necessarily feel like being very, I guess, social or open and being like, oh, and like you see people right away that you're like, I have to be social to all these individuals, and like we what. Well, maybe like the twenty minute mark of us walking downstairs and going to I probably had already said hey to seventy five people and she was like, You know everybody and I was like, Yeah, that's why I didn't want to come here. <laughs> Cause it's just over but as far as Delilah itself goes, <coughs> big shout out to John and Brian, Brian Toll and them uh, just to see them those dudes like their 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 business grow yeah, yeah. over the years. I mean I used to go to Tea Room. Did you used to go to Tea Room back in the day? T Room was like one of their first spots in Hollywood. It was like fucking this living room, if not like around the same size as this living room. And it was a popping ass spot that only the, I guess, the coolest of 75 to 100 people can get in each day. And just to see. Do the, they have more than just Pol Delilah right now in LA? Or is it. They have Delilah, Poppy, Bootsy Bello. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay. I didn't realize that Delilah. Uh, of Petite, course. Petite mm -hmm. Tangare. They have um, uh, okay. Nice Guy. They have Delilah. Right. right. <laughs> they have um, what is it? a whole bunch of other. Slab. Who? Oh, a Shore Bar. They have Shore Bar. They have, um, I'm going to give you all shouts out right now, Brian, because you're my guy. Uh, 40 Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they have 40 Love. They have. Did you say Santa, Santa Is that No, it? they have Santa Lonia in Beverly Hills now. And yeah. the Beverly Hills. Uh, they, they, they have Harriet's. Mm -hmm. This have, is, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, they're running fucking Hollywood right now. H Wood Group. So shout out to those dudes. And it was just dope because I was just telling Brian, like, dude, we used to come to your spot <laughs> when it was just a fucking room basically attached to a parking structure it's right it used to be right over orange you know what orange yeah off of orange and uh, sunset i guess or hollywood boulevard yeah yeah Sun i know what you're talking sunset? about hollywood? Hollywood. i always get mixed sunset. up it's sunset no it's no 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 it's hollywood above no so in like so connected you know what la fitness is right there off the fucking off hollywood boulevard like right mm -hmm. in the little yeah. convenience center there used to be there's a parking structure that's attached to it there was a little room basically attached to that parking structure that was their club and just to see them go from that tea room to now <laughs> opening like the most open, expensive the most expensive bar, apparently yeah. the most expensive bar and they Brian and they claim in America but somebody tell me in America right now <laughs> 25 million was put into the bar uh, at the Win which is like you know if you know Vegas the Win is as nice as you're gonna get uh, in Vegas uh, it's really beautiful nice it's just like it was just super like super fucking dope to see people like stay at it to work hard mm -hmm. and to, to achieve shit. And oh, you're like, yeah. yo, dope, that's fucking dope, man. We're here in this place all suited and booted and we're at the most expensive bar in, 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 in America and I've known Brian since he had a roommate. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you go to his house and you're like, yo, my roommate. And you're like, yeah, D. Murphy, who's our other guy who's rich as shit now and doing really well. Oh, they yeah. were roommates and it was just dope. It was just dope to see. It was, uh, you know, good energy, good people. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, congrats to them and that yeah, whole congrats. group. Mm -hmm. This is how Bieber performed. I know you were happy for that. I know you love Bieber. Oh, yeah. Bieber performs? You love Bieber, right? I would be excited to see Bieber perform. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we Bieber, Bieber, Bieber comes now. to you and says, 
hey, I'm going to give, my girl's giving me a hall pass with you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't. I, I'm sorry, not gay. Bieber. He's like, I'm not gay at all. But you're the one person she's like for me. But you're the one guy that I would be gay with. I feel like I would feel like that's a line, Bieber. You would you would feel like he, oh you would feel like he's bullshitting you. You would feel like you know, you're yeah, not. I'm feel not like the one he did guy that all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. He'd be like, listen, I'm not gay. I don't do this. That's but. that's low self esteem, dude. I need you, you to pick it up. Yeah, I mean, if Bieber came to me and was like, hey, dude, you're the one dude I can hook up with, and that I want to hook up with, I'd be like. And maybe you're the one guy. <laughs> no, nah, I'd be like, that like, makes perfect sense to me, Bieber. I'm pretty hot. <laughs> See ya. Peace out, bro. Good job performing up there. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he would do a Rathas performance. I would tell him. <laughs> it's a little much. Dude, you're sweating still. <laughs> well, Vegas itself is always interesting because it was the first, it was also the first weekend that Vegas was open, 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 open. Uh, and it was the fight was there as well. That no, no, no. It was everything. Was it was everything. It. Conor McGregor's fight. It was Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan for three nights in a row. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. They, wow. That's a big Vegas show. Justin Bieber had a concert there first mm. and then performed at Delilah. Holy shit. Uh, what else was going on? It was some other big stuff. Alana's birthday. Alana's birthday. Yeah, they didn't have an event for that, though. It was just her birthday. I'm naming I feel events, like all guys. these events were for Alana's birthday. Yeah, essentially. I put them all on for her birthday. Um, cost me a lot of money. Had to mortgage the house. But um, you made a lot of money if you put all those events. That would be on true. Too. I would be a rich man <laughs> if I put on any of these events. I saw that Trump was at the UFC fight, which was interesting. And Mel Gibson saluted him. I saw that too. Yeah, that was not surprising though, right? Like, are we surprised? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I tweeted that earlier. I said Mel Gibson's also the person who told <laughs> his wife, "I hope you get raped by a pack of niggers." That's let's not yeah. forget, guys. Mel yeah. Gibson's actual quote. So yeah, I that's true. It. That's true. That's true. That's a real. Uh, and he is also an individual who made Passion of the Christ. <laughs> he made Passion of the Christ. <laughs> it's people, hilarious. People are multifaceted. They, they really know? are. They have <laughs> many sides. I thought he was literally canceled this entire time just because he called the cops sugar tits. Like that was it. You thought oh. sugar tits got him canceled? Yeah. You, you thought? <laughs> no. I no, never even heard he, that story, honestly. He not he called called the cops sugar tits, but then he went on an anti Semitic rant where he called them like Jews and like blamed the Jews for his problems. And then a different time And then used a Jew to make the most money in his career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, Jesus right? Jesus used himself. Jesus to make the most money in his career. <laughs> and, and then had a different phone call to his wife where he said this pack. Mm -hmm. Is that is pack? Is that the, the who you ask? How the fuck are, you think? You think <laughs> is that the term? You think that nigga use? over here is like, yeah, we're called a pack. Like, what the fuck? What are you asking me over here? Like, no. Uh, let's start with that. Uh, Secondly, yeah, he did say that. He said, I "Hope you get right by a pack of niggers." And I, as a kid, thought it was the funniest audio recordings I could ever hear in life. <laughs> I did because I was like, "This is crazy." I know who this dude is. He's a celebrity. I think it was one of TMZ's first like big things breaking at the time, and they had the audio recordings, and I just was like, "Whoa." This dude is bad shit. And guess what he did? Nothing. He did well in Hollywood after that. Yeah, he was and in like a happened. he was in like a Christmas movie with Will Ferrell. Right away. <laughs> That's what got him casted. <laughs> we heard your audio tapes and we're like, whoa. This guy hates Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this guy hates Hanukkah, really. Welcome to Wine and Weed. Yeah, we back, bitch. We're here for another week <laughs> yeah. of our podcast show. Yep. I'm Chris Reinecker, a.k.a. The Crown and Sewer. Um, yep. A.k.a. The Entrepreneur Crown and Sewer. Mm. Do you like that one? That's like, if I start... I'm cool with that. If I, I feel like I need to start like making money off of we before i can really call myself an entrepreneur sewer and you need so, to like really get that flow going a little more on that entrepreneur sewer the, well, i didn't i don't need you to rap it i just need you to figure it out <laughs> <laughs> entrepreneur sewer sewer yeah that is. Sewer. okay we're smoking weed early in this show today yeah aka the elusive moose which i hear everywhere do you never really? have seen one. That's what they were saying. They're everywhere in Montana. Oh, I thought I you were saying. I love doing callbacks to things that the listeners didn't hear, but we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what you, they don't go over well in the <laughs> show, but call it, call I it. like it. Uh, AKA Speed Bump, AKA 
La La La, aka Saxophone Jones, aka The Goop in Your Gap, aka Your New Baby Daddy, and with me as always, I'm your boy Sterling, Stilo Brim. That is all. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, guys. Whoa. That's what I just did right there. I said, fuck the system. Wow. That's what I said. This is a different I said, fuck kind the system, of show. guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta say, fuck the system. You fucking turn you know? around. I'm just Sterling, Steel Little Brim, guys. You know what I'm saying? Just hanging out with my boy Chris Reinecker. And of course, with us as always. Hey guys, it's Courtney. I don't got no hashtags. This no, week. bullshit. They gave you like three new ones in the comments. They was popping. I saw them. I was okay, like, Okay, but y'all didn't do yours. I no, do Chris one. did his. I didn't mind. Sterl- I said, fuck Sterling the system. Just <laughs> if you stand with me, I like it. If you stand with me, I like it. I thought we were doing this together as a team. <laughs> no well, hashtags. I, I, we left Chris on the outside. I'm too late. I came too late. That's what she said. Damn it, it's over. I came too late. Uh, you're not gonna do any AKAs. Wow. Fuck the system court. Wow. Yeah. Today, today we're smoking flow kinda yeah, again. Yeah. Yes, that's sir. They're farmers reserve. I'm already high. We already started smoking that. Uh we're doing their sativa today. Sit. Which Sit. is called Sit. Like Banana cake. I can taste that. And we're drinking some Josh. Yeah, we drink some Josh. Some we all like it. feels like a smooth vibe in the room. Everybody's drinking some Josh together yeah. as a family. Mm-hmm. So we hear more laughs in the background. We're not funny. They're drunker. <laughs> and that's fine with me. <laughs> Let's get into the stories of the week. Woman reportedly gets revenge on X by running 49 red lights in his car. <laughs> There was no stopping the scorned woman's drive for revenge. A bitter woman and her love-struck new suitor have been arrested in China after renting her ex-boyfriend's car and getting 49 tickets for jumping traffic lights, according to a report. So basically what old girl did is, because I like to summarize these articles, y'all know that. Mm -hmm. Um, So her ex-man left her for someone else. Okay. And... Her new man was a kind of like, I want to be with you. And she said, okay, bet the only way that you can be with me is if you help me get revenge on my ex and take his car and run red light so that he gets tickets. That's a red flag. So who goes down for this? Well, both of them got arrested. So both of them yeah, got arrested. Yeah, both of them got arrested. But they did run up 49 worth of tickets. It, it was... Camera, I assume. Camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine camera trying to tight. prove this. You got to go into court and have to prove this shit. Like, I don't know this nigga at all. <laughs> he fucking my girl, okay? I didn't want to say it, judge. But he's fucking my girl, and they're running through lights and my shit. All, I mean, this feels like you had to have done that at least all fucking day. All day. I feel like running 49 red lights is, like, kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Or you just, like, on some fast and furious well, shit, and you did it all in one rip. They said they did it 49. in two days. Two days. It took them two days to two do it? Two days. Did they go on yeah. a trip together? That's sexy. It's kind of romantic <laughs> if they went on like a fucking trip around like the like a different state and they were like, we're going to run through 49 lights when we do it. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, we're not looking back. We're, we're running through everything. <laughs> but I also think that's very dangerous and they're going to die. Unless they like were safe about the rules they broke. Which well, what do you mean safe? They ran 49 <laughs> lights. They be, be, I guess they could be like, you okay, could go like, oh, there's no, no one here. We can't run this one. There are people coming. That's whack. That's a weaker story, Chris. Why are you making a weaker story? Over here? <laughs> I would like for them to be out here wild and together. If they're going to steal my man's car and run through these lights and be together and shit, 49 lights, I want to know that there was adrenaline going in that car and the sex was hot. I think the sex okay. was hot. I think the, I think the sex in between the the, the lights. 24 lights <laughs> and the 25 lights must have been crazy. Crazy. They were crazy. like, we did it. But they were also like exhausted. They were like, we were driving around for like five and a half hours. <laughs> nah, two days. It was fucking for two days straight in that car. Oh, two but, days no. straight. But they also, didn't, he didn't think like, maybe this is a red flag. Maybe she's not over her ex and I shouldn't <laughs> date her. Yeah. Nah, he's he's also toxic, Courtney. Wait, yeah. He is enjoying <laughs> this. First of all, for, for a girl to tell you, you have to do this if you want to be with me. And for your response to be, okay, <laughs> you're a sicko. Fam. You should be like, oh, no, is you crazy? Like, I'm not, and I'm the not. way that she wants you to break these rules is not like go in the middle of his, the night and steal something from his house. It's do What s- the fuck? That's not normal either. Well, listen, like, but, it, but, it's, <laughs> but the crime, the crime is camera based. What the fuck? Chris, like, like, it's not something like usual. Yeah. Like, 
breaking into his fucking house and robbing him with a gun like in normal shit. It's like no, that's nigga, camera that's- base. He's on camera committing all forty nine of the offenses. Oh, so you're more you're more mad that it's Wait, a stupid you, well, way to commit agree? a crime. How did this guy agree? Okay, you're mad that it's a stupid way to commit the crime. You're gonna get caught. I don't care. I'm more mad that you agreed to do this for this young lady you I think just met or maybe didn't just meet. <laughs> Whatever. She must be bad as fuck. Is there a picture of this girl? No, there's no picture. Uh, for you to risk it all, for you to be like, I'm gonna steal my I'm gonna steal his car. Yeah. You stole his car, fam. That's, That's already a crime. True. And then I'm gonna run through the lights <laughs> to get some tickets on his shit. Like, they gonna figure it out for sure. You know it's gonna be careful that they're not. It's gotta be a crime in that too. They're gonna and something. I don't know what the fuck the crime is. But they were like, oh, you tried to lose some money or do some weird shit. I don't fucking know. But then having both of those things, like you doing jail time for this bitch now. Tell me if I'm wrong. I think there's no way that they, that the new make guy. Make and it because I think they're getting married. I, I don't think there's any way. <laughs> I think they are soulmates, motherfucker. They're crazy as shit. I think there's no way they slept together first. I think she was like, do this for me. He's definitely got BJ. I think he the got BJ it. I think crazy. he got laid during it, but I don't. I think she was holding out for this. I think that's. I think it was him just really wanting to fuck this girl and was like, "All right, I'll do it." Because I can't explain the illogicness of this. But like, he's not thinking I want her forever. What because do you mean? If you're he thinking, might be. Well, you're getting, then why put yourself on camera 49 times doing a crime with her? Because forever's forever. And if I only got to do my fucking three weeks for my love, I'll do that, fam. Not three weeks. I'm saying, how much time he going to really do for the 49? It's a good article. He ain't doing no three years. Well, think about it. They could say that he technically stole the car so he could do. That's more. fine. But they, but they, but she's told him to steal it. So she's actually going to get the, the actual. The most of it, yeah. Most of the time versus him. So if we're doing time together, bitch, and we writing each other from on the other side of the wall, I'm good with that. I'm being like, yo, you in the women's prison, I'm in the men's prison, just know this much. When we get out of this motherfucker, <laughs> it's going to be one for that ass again. That's really right. I think about those lights every night. <laughs> I ain't stopped seeing red since I met you. <laughs> That's his Valentine's Day card. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't stopped seeing red since I met you. But it's in Chinese, so there's like a phrase that translates. Are they Chinese? Yeah, they're Chinese. I, I was like, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, a twist that I was like, I don't even get this. This whole okay. thing happened in China. That's why I was like, are there more red lights around? Uh, because okay. How do you go? Th- I don't think. I don't. I think there are more people. Drive. There's definitely more people. There are more people, so they might be like, yo, we need to fucking control this more. So they're just smashing through. They might have just went like four blocks. <laughs> <laughs> 49, right? Like, 49 like two, four blocks. Yeah, I don't I, I don't I don't think you stay with her, dude. That's my advice. I don't you don't think he why do you first of all why do you think that he's the fucking catch where you like I don't think you stay with her? Also, she shouldn't be with him either. Mm mm. Why shouldn't he's she be? He's dumb as she, fuck. Yeah, he is dumb, and he enables her. <laughs> what the fuck you know? do you mean? Why would she? He was like, why wouldn't she be with? She wouldn't be with him because he's an idiot. She's not even upgraded. They're a perfect pair in a way, though. <laughs> They're yeah, made for each other. Well, we hope. We wish a you the best. A psychopath and an idiot. Yeah. She's like, I can use you. You're my minion. I can make you do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> she legit told me. That's him. love. Yeah. Like, or it's abuse. Cause in my head I'm like, is this do well? <laughs> That's t- I, I. Did you use this individual? The only who's way not well t- <laughs> to do a crime for you. I think she had to be really hot, and he had not slept with her yet, or he did sleep with her, and it was the greatest sex he's ever had. Like nothing he's ever experienced is in his entire life. And I, and yeah, he probably has like a lower IQ than most people. Yeah, I mean, oh, so much going on in the news. Uh, I do want to see her. And that is the in the most like surfacey <laughs> level way you guys all think that I'm saying. I would like to see her. So I would like to be like, okay, I want to see what my man was looking at and was like, yo, this is it. This is the one I need in my life. I'm willing to out the rip do dirt for you, shorty. I guess there is uh I mean, <laughs> I don't want to over talk this out too much, but, but I guess we are. There, but we are. I guess there is a potential that it was like a nerdy dude who like didn't really want to do it and was like peer pressure the entire way. Like she was like, We're getting in the car, he was like, I don't we're now we're running a light. Now we're running another now we're running forty nine lights. You know? I he could have been pressured. <laughs> or he could be psycho he could be like You know what we'll get with again back, babe? If we ran 49 lights. 
Psycho people are never regularly hot. hot. Never hot. Always hot. What? God he only just gives you a pretty face if he knows you're a psychopath. He's psycho like, people are never hot. They're always hot. Ted Bundy. Not hot. Okay, Chris. Right. Now there's your okay, fucking yeah. hall pass. <laughs> My head oil. <laughs> Chris just exposed his hall pass right away. He was like, Ted Bundy? Ted Bundy? Isn't hot? Are you crazy? Uh <laughs> There's no, lots I, of hot psychos. I think I've dated a lot of hot cycles in my life. Billionaires descend on Sun Valley in private jets to talk about climate change. So some of the most high profile people in media, finance, and technology uh, arrived in Sun Valley on private jets to talk about I love your laugh. climate change. Because we just talked about this. Like, this is the <laughs> dumbest fucking thing about this. Continue. You just read the article again. On Tuesday, the day the press conference kicked off, traffic from private jets got so busy that they had to ban planes from taking off. Yeah. There was too many. There were over 90 private planes that landed at this airport for a summit about climate change. I would also and, like to know, okay, 90 planes, right? Let's start with this. How many billionaires were actually there? Because I, I, like in my head, it's because billionaires were traveling with their actual brains around them too to talk about this. So they had to travel with hella motherfuckers out there as well. It wasn't just like, just the billionaires got together. All of us got on our 90 planes and 90 of us came. It's like, I just want to know how many people were actually there to talk about this summit. And obviously the thing we're going to jump into is this is dumb as shit up. Mm -hmm. Some like, of them should have plane pooled. Yeah, why Easy. would you not plane pool? And then at the same time, it's like we're talking about you can't show up on your private. If you're trying to make a statement, fam, I need you to show up on some commercial shit to to be like, yo, fam. Number one, I traveled amongst the people to be here today. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be adding to the issues and the problems, but you legit are like, no, let's bring 90 motherfucking PJs out here. For us, insane. Mm -hmm. It's insane. But well, it had everyone from Jeff Bezos was there, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, literally. Richard Branson was in space. He was in space. That nigga didn't show up. Continue. <laughs> they literally, <laughs> the world's in. most elite people were there on their private plane. So that's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, but like, yeah, was was everybody invited? Because in my head now, I'm like, was Richard, Richard Branson not invited? And, and for him to protest, <laughs> for him to protest, space he timed space. this shit perfectly and was like, I'm I'm gonna fucking land in space. Same day them niggas had that meeting, so they, they shit don't fucking blow up and nobody knows about it, and only I get the glory. He oh, was, <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys all put, you took your private planes there. I'm busy in space. Yeah, how's that feel, Jeff? Huh? Sorry, you sorry, and your guys. brother, you and oh, your brother, that's not happening. <laughs> Jeff's gonna start doing that next week. That's cute. Why That's are they all cute. going to fucking space right now too? Not to like be all over the place. No, I was thinking about that too. They're but all like, in space. Right why now. are they all going to a space? And how did we not even? This is my biggest issue with all this shit. How did we not even hear a whisper of Richard even fucking leaving? And then they was like, "This nigga Richard's in space." It was like, what? What the fuck? I Nobody think even told us. I think it's because he was trying to beat Jeff. I think he was trying yeah, to beat. But Jeffrey, how you? Yeah. I'm Jason. saying I'm not look, playing this white game with you, Chris. Okay, I know what the fuck he They're was trying to do. With what I'm saying is, how as a people, how as the people, is it okay for a motherfucker to go to space and we don't know it? Oh, we is that not it. scary? We knew it was happening. I didn't know it was happening. A few days before, I thought there was there. Yeah, but, you, but you're still saying a few days. No, sorry, a few weeks before he announced that he was going to go before Jeff. And I think is this like a white news memo only? Like, did you get an was, email? Was, like, how I feel that? like it was in our news stories. Like, I don't know there? if we talked about it on the air. <laughs> I don't know if we did, Chris. I think that was a different show. No, there's a space <laughs> race with the billionaires. But Which I did feel like last minute Richard is. jumped on. Like Richard had it going up like was like virgin air is gonna do be virgin space but i feel like he wasn't gonna be on that and then last minute he was like actually i'm gonna jump on virgin galactic the one that they got yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Galactic, but yeah. like that's virgin, not which is a cooler name than yeah wait space. space yeah virgin <laughs> space i had to like virgin space it's all <laughs> safe space where none of us get pussy it's great so, <laughs> so yeah. we have a virgin space <laughs> he became the first person to ride into space aboard a rocket he helped fund so he basically like I paid for that thing, so I'm gonna just get on this rocket and we go into space. Nigga, scoot over. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you have to go through years of training to be able to go I to know. space? I know. Not Richard. It feels like he just niggas, did it last minute. That nigga said, "Scoot over, fam." <laughs> he, he said, "I bought this motherfucker. Scoot over. Make room. Lap it up." I also looked in the picture like he was wearing like headphones, like AirPods. I think it was so he could he talk to the other people on the ship. But I like the idea that he just like jumped in like. Put AirPods Pause it and didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> yeah, listen to an audio book and some music. While he's in space. <laughs> like you're in fucking space, bro. You're just you're listening to iTunes. 
<laughs> they never looked out the window once. They He's tapped reading. us and we're here. <laughs> wow. He okay. puts his window down, goes to sleep. Yeah. I think he was only there for like 16 minutes, right? Yeah, so I was going to see how long What? Space. Nigga, I'm not going to space and go for 16 minutes. I'm not space. I'm going to be gone for a minute, fam. I'm about to see what the fuck's up. Wait, have you guys seen the new Fast and Furious? I I'm not doing this with you, Courtney. Oh. You watch the new Fast and Furious? So you know where. Yeah. You they know go where to space? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they would go to space. They go to spoiler space. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. No. I mean, it was oh, in Oh, we got to put a spoiler alert on it? Yeah. I, think I it was thought we already knew trailers. this already, didn't we? I, I think know. I knew it before I walked in. You did? But I had one friend who didn't. Did they go for family? <laughs> literally, it's, it's Tyrese and Ludacris in going to space. Yeah. To, Come like, on, man. knock. So I think it's to, like, destroy a... A rocket or something like that. But yeah, the plot's very space. unclear the whole yeah, time. The whole but time. Yeah, I don't know. They're in space eventually. Oh. I mean, did I uh, look? Fast Five got me back on the Fast franchise because it was so fucking insane. But Fast Nine, uh, if you want my review, was uh, a god awful movie. But also, I'm not a Fast and fun. Furious fan. It, it was, was fun. They're all fun if you go for the right reason. If you're like, I'm going to watch something just from an entertainment standpoint and having fun. But I'm not a Fast and Furious guy because I'd be liking plots and shit and I'd be liking things to make sense. And I don't want to see 17 cars blow up on the street just because. I'm like, this. But I always just get into budgets in my head. If I go watch a Fast and Furious, I just get mad at the budget. I'd be like, they this fucking budget for these cars? And then when you like watch the shit and you'd be mad because you're like, they didn't even really like CGI that shit. They really ran them cars off that fucking thing in yeah. Dubai, fam. <laughs> they really was like, yo, we gonna jump cars yeah. off this shit. You was like, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, my, my problem is the, the, rule, the logic of the world. Because I'm fine with you breaking our real world logic, but your logic is so inconsistent that it just makes me so fucking mad. But I did like that they kept the logic of no matter how far you fall from, if you land on the hood of a car, You're it good. breaks your fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that. And I, they kept that logic line through. And I'm like, cool. But then they didn't keep other logic lines through where it just fucking pissed me off. Where they have big magnets and they pull certain cars. Hey, and hey, and hey, other hey, hey, what is wrong with y'all? These are all in the preview. Yeah, but y'all ain't gotta go that hard. It's like <laughs> these people ain't seen the shit yet. What you went? What you went opening night, motherfucker? I thought it came out like three I weeks ago. <laughs> you fucking weirdos went opening night and y'all motherfucking want to spoil it for people. This ain't the fucking fifth week. When you what? Assholes? What week is it? it it's week one. Like, uh, I thought it came out like three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Let's see. <laughs> And all I know is this. <laughs> it's a person. We definitely got followers that like Fast and Furious, okay? It came okay. out June 25th. Look, Dom. That's yesterday. Dom dies in the end of the movie, okay? What? Dom no. dies in this one. Okay. He, now you're gonna no, just, no, no, no one's going to believe it. <laughs> no, everybody knows really fucking Dom ain't dying, <laughs> fam. <laughs> that would not even make sense. I like the idea of waiting for Dom to die, though. Just watching that whole movie, thinking that Dom. They at said one point Fast Ten is supposed to be the last one, but I know Dom ain't letting that happen. No, there's no way. They no, I'm not letting that happen. Dom gonna make it the fucking longest. This is the ridiculousness of movies. It needs to just, <laughs> it's just, it's just people at this point are just like, what the fuck? And we're like, I don't know. I don't do you know. think our grandkids? <laughs> do you think our grand? Because I think our kids probably will. But do you think our grandkids will have new Fast and Furious movies? For sure, they'll CGI Diamond. He'll make sure. He'll put I it in his contract. They'll pass it on. He'll forever be in them. Um, no, yeah. Ooh, who who would be who would be a good spinoff person to give a Fast and Furious to? That you were like, oh shit, they're gonna go in that direction now. Let's make Fast and Furious Damn. with this new individual. Oh. Damn. Well, they kind of already did with The Rock and the other no. guy. No. But The Rock is still like over He's 40. Still part Everyone of, yeah, over in 40. it is I'm actually like, like over 40. I'm saying like the, like like the a new character. Yeah, like are they going to give it to motherfucking uh, Tom Holland one day or some shit? Mm. He bulks it's, up a little bit I mean, and then like, oh, Tom Holland is Dom's son. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> but that's some shit they were trying to pull on us. And we'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's Dom's son. And he really goes hard for family. He, you thought Dom was a family guy? <laughs> Tom? <laughs> family guy. I like he's way like British family guy. He's like. <laughs> I like the way they're setting up the new bad boys, how like the last bad boys, uh, Will had a son. I could totally see his son taking over and doing a whole new bad boys franchise. Mm. So they who would, was the son of the last one? Remember he was trying to kill him. But I'm asking who was the actual son? Oh, Who's I don't know. It was the actor boy. He was really cute though. That's all I can tell you. He, how old is he? <laughs> Let 
let's see. Hold on. But he had he remember he had the um baby with that lady. I that I'll be crazy. real with you. I went to sleep during the last Bad oh Boys. Oh my god! I look. I'm a I'm a Martin Lawrence and Will Smith fan. Oh, his name is Jacob. Jacob Chapeau Chapeau. I don't know who this man is. But he literally. Oh, he was in Without Remorse too. He played one of the um killer people. Oh, never mind. Y'all forget it. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to see who would be the best. What if Timothy Chalamet just jumped into Fast and Furious? <laughs> no. And went that way the rest of his career. What if mm-hmm. um, what if uh uh, <laughs> where is it? Where is that kid? What's that kid's name? What if Jacob Tremblay? Got old enough and kind of became a Paul Walker type. Oh, you know, I can see like a Dylan O'Brien being into this. Okay, in I'll take that. Yeah, Thank I you. Like yes, I, I needed like a him. real fucking answer, Chris. Not this one. game you want to play. Not the little boy from Room. That's the little <laughs> boy from Room, right? <laughs> yeah. I do not need that kind of fucking I don't answer. know who Dylan O'Brien is. Oh, uh, look see at this. this. Okay. Courtney's really cast what this if fucking spin off. <laughs> What if Ludacris has a son All on right, it? I'm out. And then the son is like that that boy Caleb from Stranger Things. Oh. And he was like the new down. leader. That would be Who's fire. the mom? Who's his mom? I could be down with the guy from Stranger Things. Ooh, who would be his mom? I don't even know, but I'd be down Luda, for something like that. Just trying to make sure, you know, it's his real daddy. <laughs> Just trying to make sure this is real dad. That's all. I don't know who his mom would be. I just made that up. That's that's my spinoff idea. Okay. Um, I'm enough Fast and Furious for me. I never wanted to get into this in the yeah, first yeah. place. I, I, I do like, not yeah, watch Fast and Furious. I'm not a fan of Fast and Furious. <laughs> okay, a herd of drunk Indian buffaloes exposed a hidden stash of contraband liquor and, a, and got a group of farmers arrested. Wait, what happened? So, three tipsy buffaloes below the... <laughs> Wait, what happened? What is it? So three tipsy <laughs> buffaloes blew the cover of an illegal liquor stash in India after getting drunk from water um, that they, they drank this water and within it there was hidden moonshine bottles. Nice. <laughs> so there were <laughs> drunk buffaloes. There were 101 bottles of liquor in, within the uh, buffalo stable and three of the farmers got arrested for illegally selling alcohol. 100 bottles? 101 bottles, yeah, of liquor. One of the uh, farmers had called a vet when the uh, buffalo stopped eating and started frothing at the mouth. So basically, the buffaloes got into the moonshine and got when tipsy. I'm, and when them <laughs> couldn't fucking hold his liquor. <laughs> and the farmers <laughs> called the vet and then they snitched on themselves essentially that Damn. way. Damn. Yeah. I like that they cared enough about the animals. Me too. To, Me to too. Throw the farmer, themselves the under farmer the said that the his buffaloes. boss ain't gonna give a fuck about that animal. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, hey, nigga, you fucking my money up for one buffalo? For one <laughs> buffalo. It was 101, wasn't it? Nigga, make it an even number. It was 101. <laughs> Get rid of this liquor. one motherfucker. Oh, it was 101 bottles. Bottles, and it was, I three, it was 101 buffaloes. Three buffaloes. <laughs> But the oh, farmer okay. basically was saying that the buffaloes were jumping around all willy nilly, and that was. Will does it say that in there? Willy nilly. Yeah, okay. Says jumping so around willy nilly. I love that that's you just dancing. Went for jumping around willy nilly is dancing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Willy no, it's it not. sounds like the buffaloes willy were just yeah, dancing. Willy nilly just mean like, you wild. Wow, ju- I, I mean dancing. Yeah, it sounds like the buffaloes were dancing. They were having a good time. Yeah, but if you said it's three of them. That's why with one of them foaming, it makes sense that like yeah, you're foaming. so uh, you're so in in you know. A t- I guess in in what in touch what I guess you're so attached to these these buffaloes that you're like you know it's only three of y'all I must be close to them I thought it was 101 I was that you could spare one buffalo fam mm. not to have a nigga kill you because you fucking up his 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 fucking alcohol operation but knowing that it's only three they was cut close with the buffaloes yeah. respect respect now you personalize the buffalo yeah yeah. Yeah, <laughs> one of them, one of them uh, getting fucked up though is. Yeah, you're like fuck. These guys are a little, little too plastered. Let's save them. Chicago suburbs have become first city to give black residents reparations. Ooh, a suburb of Chicago is setting a I'm moving back home, y'all. <laughs> racial equality as it moves forward in becoming the first city in the country to fund reparations for its black residents. So Evans, have you heard of this town? Evans, Evanston? Yeah, Evanston. Evanston that's yeah. down the street. Yeah, just north of Chicago, voted to approve a groundbreaking measure in 2019. It's also seven niggas in Evanston, <laughs> and they know that. <laughs> in which the city would financially compensate its black residents to address the wealth and opportunity gaps they have experienced because of historical racism and discrimination. So using community donations, 
Ooh, and revenue from a 3% tax collected on the sale of recreational cannabis. There you go. The yeah. city adopted a reparations fund and pledged to distribute $10 million over 10 years. Okay. So since then, yeah. the A official- million a year for all? Well, how many niggas is that ever? Is that a million a year? It's so, anybody who has- 10 million over 10 years. Yeah, who has a history of having family in Evanston, I think, from-, not, from but That doesn't matter. I'm saying that it's still $1 million to spread amongst all these people. Yeah, yeah. And it's in housing programs and in cash. Yeah. So some people are saying that's not enough. It's not close to enough. Yeah, yeah, but it's also- If you're going to take- If you're going to be out here being yeah, like, yeah. let's give back- just nigga do it right don't just be like we did because i don't like it i don't like it if you don't do it right because then you can just be get out by being like we did mm-hmm. something yeah so uh, and, so and that's the bullshit the way they describe the program is under the program's first phase qualifying residents will get 25k they could use that towards home ownership home improvement or mortgage assistance to qualify first residents. of all you ain't gonna tell me i can use my money to a nigga if i want to start a record <laughs> label i'm gonna start the record label <laughs> <laughs> to qualify residents must either have lived in or been a direct descendant of a black person who lives in that town between 1919 to 1969. The problem is, again, it's seven niggas in Evanston. I'm from Chicago. I can tell you where Evanston is. It's a white town. It's not like where black people live. It's a rich town as well. So it's like for you to be like, we're going to give it to the, the well, seven rich dude, black niggas who live here already. It's like, oh, I guess you're trying to do something. I just don't know if it's just like for a headline for Evans to be like, Evans to show Evans to. I think <laughs> they want to set like the, you know, one town did it. Maybe it's something we can face on a on a county to county level or something like that. I think they want to be set the precedent for like, this isn't crazy. It's not just something we can talk about in Congress forever. We can actually get something done. But a lot of people were saying that wasn't enough. I think you're confused again. Like there's, they're not home. The homes cost millions of dollars. So for you yeah. to be giving $1 million to everybody that yeah. is a descendant, they're probably getting $70. It's like a housing program. It's like a housing grant. It's fake. This is fake. It's fake news. Yeah, I th- I I listened to a thing on it, and I think the way that from they who? from, from who? New York Times from white people. I'm telling you, it's fake news. Well, it was there were black they they had the lady who created it, and they also expressed at the standpoint that there was uh, a lot of wait people who, who created a black person, a black woman, a black person had to create their own reparations. Well, yeah, she was like, if we can't face this on a national level because this keeps on not being done, let's let's face it on a county level my family's been here for a long time when we grew up like the prom was segregated no, I'm not they segregated us in the corner so what they were saying was there is the reason why they took 1919 to 1969 was kind of a Re- Ruth Bader Ginsburg like way of being like they're direct like you cannot argue that on the books there are literal laws that are discriminatory so like you you cannot deny that so you have to return this like the logic was there if you have to return it with housing but a lot of people said it doesn't go too far and we don't like it being called reparations because this isn't nearly enough it's not reparations it's yeah. fake it's fake news it's bullshit is this some grant like you said or some thing going on or people don't bullshit. this is it's bull- like if you're saying it's bullshit. like affirmative action basically it, being dis- like described number as one reparations. you know black people ever right let's start with that again you said 1919. Why is it 1919? Yeah, it's some some why like would direct we not, Jim why would, Crow. We shit. built the country, right? But yeah, why would you st- start at 1919? Well, like, it's it's just, I confused. think it's because it's a specifically to Evanston. Cool, right? Yeah, it's just not enough black people who live in Evanston who have lived in Evanston. Then for you to only do a million dollars, I don't even know what that actually equates to as far as. Give passing that out to whoever is a descendant of Evanston, and then guess what? Yeah, you might be the one family. That's why you fucking created it for yourself, sweetheart. Because and most niggas wasn't allowed to live in Evanston. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, you like, oh, we're doing this for the people who are from Evanston, and it's like, you bitch, <laughs> you did it for you. <laughs> I cool, I guess. <coughs> I, I'm just saying, it's not enough money. Yeah, it doesn't like actually go the to people a, she in her neighborhood. You know what I mean? I hear you. People she grew up with and her, yeah. But I, but you, so you don't see it as something that could, that should be faced on like a state to state or local. No, I, I do think this should be something that's faced on a national level. I, I think there's, think, I think it should be think based they, on a national level too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that you saying we did something is like I don't think you should do it unless you're gonna put your best foot forward. I don't think that we should try to just be like, oh, this is a start. Mm-hmm. It gets muddy there. Mm-hmm. It gets muddy with with starts mm-hmm. and stuff. 
it'll become very blurred if you're like, oh, we did some stuff back in 2021 to 2024. It didn't work. Yeah. We didn't like it. The people voted against it. Mm. We tried to give you reparations. I guess we did kind of. Right, right. So what if one state did it? What if one state like fucking I'm trying like South Carolina or like not one of not like so, fucking Alabama or like like what like what's somebody like a slavery a slavery state that's a little bit north like they did it and then it like it felt like it worked and then they wanted to do it do you think that would set a good president to do it on a national level or do you think it would like separate things and and then I, Alabama's deal be a shit deal and then just everyone yeah, would be think, fucking I think screwed. if you allow it to be like this blur thing state by state it's going to just get ugly it's going to get muddy. It's going to become an argument on who worked the hardest, who who did, like, my my descendants are slaves for real over here to do this. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll just ah. become too much of that versus a national level of, like, reparations to individuals of this time and this blah, 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 as equated to this number. These are the payments. This is how you can get the payments to African Americans in the nation. The government needs to attack it on a higher level. I don't think you do state by state because it just gets too messy. Yeah. That's at least my opinion. I get what you mean. Obviously, it could, somebody could say, no, I'll tell you why it works better state by state. And here's why. And I'd be definitely open to listening to it. I just think that if we do stay by state, it just gets <clears throat> muddy, just like you do county or town by whatever. It's just like, I don't, I, you know what it is? It's like when you owe some niggas some money. And, and they take a long time to pay you back, it becomes unclear how much they owe you really. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ever talked to, <laughs> no, no, I'm being for real. Like, you ever, you ever gave a nigga some money and was like, yo, fam, make sure you pay me back. Yeah. And they don't pay you back for a while, right? They don't pay you back when they told you they're going to pay you back. They'll pay you back for a while. And they pay you back. You can't even remember, ex- I mean, exactly how much you gave them at that yeah, point. Yeah. you like, yo, man, well, get my 250. Nigga, I only borrowed 200 for you. I, I, I gave you 200 back. At that point, you unless you wrote it down some shit and then you really like documented it, you're like, I don't really remember if the fifty dollars or not. I think you might be lying to me. Fuck you anyway. You took a long time to pay back, but whatever, man. I don't even want to deal with this. Yeah, I think that like that's where we're at. Where it's like it's so obviously unclear on how much money's owed to people. Yeah, when it was promised versus now, that like that's the biggest argument that white America tries to use against you is they. We don't know what the real number. We even, I think, what is um, uh, 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 is it Yasser Coates? Uh, what's his last name? Oh, oh Tallahassee. Ta- 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 Coates. Coates. Tallahassee Ta- Coates. Coates. Tallahassee Coates. Ta- Coates. Ta- Coates. I don't know why I put <laughs> the Yasser Gates and him together. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, but like, I think he actually, you know, I, I, I trust him as one of our scholars, as one of the people who represents us in a really great way. You know, a really strong black voice. I think he actually even broke down exactly how much the money would equate to now. And it was just an astronomical amount mm. that was hard for anybody to swap. Mm. I think it was legit. I just think white America knows that that's not a number they even want to fucking deal with. Yeah. Yeah. And then it gets completely lost. It gets not lost. It gets thrown away. Yeah. <laughs> We don't ever right. lose it. We know exactly what it is. We like reparations. You owe us this. I just mean in the political no, I know. process. I, I, I know. Gets, I'm just more know? saying like I don't want to use the, the language of lost. Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't even get lost. It's, it gets thrown away because not even the political process doesn't get lost. It's not even a real conversation because, again, it would, it would, it would probably bury this fucking country. Yeah. Yeah. And, and white America knows that. So it's like instead of it getting lost, no, we just don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it felt to me like this woman like was trying to do like a Ruth Bader Ginsburg thing. You know how Ruth Bader Ginsburg would go into situations and argue the sexism of it oftentimes on behalf of like a man. But because she could directly draw the premise, the like set the precedent of the sexism here and then she could bring it into different things and and change things. So it feels like this woman is trying to go, well, these laws are literally in the book. Like nobody can argue this. And they were literally yeah, her, here, so these people deserve this. But I understand that you just that can't too. call that reparations. That's yeah. a different thing. It's, it's a completely different thing. So, and I think that's what a lot of people in the community. And she really had a just saying these, these. It's like okay, if I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not. It's not really seven black people who live in Evanston, but it's not a whole bunch. So it's like 
you it's probably, where the Home Alone so, house. So is, you probably right? do. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's so, like a rich name. So you probably do, and he never tells what his dad did ever, and it all <laughs> flew first class. Dude, that shit was crazy <laughs> to Paris. Like twelve. It was kids. twelve kids. A lot of fucking going on in the house. Number one, and they all just flew. I want to lose track here. But, but they're Evanston family. Answers, yeah, they were Evanston family. <laughs> it, it probably you probably know or knew or still know all of the other black families that are from the community. So you're really just fighting for your homies, fam. Mm -hmm. You know what we was talking. You know what I'm saying. And we just agree here in Evanston, y'all niggas didn't do us right. So we think y'all should pay us a million a year. Uh, and the Evanston people are like, oh, of course, you know, you we like them. We that. know them. We, now we feel good about ourselves. Are we all good? No, we, 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 we did that. We're, we're I guess we're done. We, guess we're done with racism. <laughs> the record label starts. <laughs> <laughs> so a woman gets duct taped to her seat on American Airlines after trying to open airplane door. Why have people been tripping on planes this year? And you got to be really good with duct tape to really duct tape a person down. Like they should investigate whoever duct taped that person as well. <laughs> Just you put they, it were, they were ready to go. Did you see her? She was duct taped. <laughs> yeah. They have hostages she's, she's in yeah. their basement right she's now. Ready. Look, this, I, I can read the article real quick. So a video of the incident posted on social media went viral as it showed a gray haired woman with silver duct tape covering her mouth, arms and body. The incident stems from a July 6th flight from Dallas, Fort Worth to Charlotte, North Carolina. What was supposed to be a two hour flight turned into a major delay after chaos broke out one hour into the flight. So here's a video. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's a video on the flight. I can. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You I duct guess. tape somebody, I'm videoing that shit. <laughs> I want to know how prepared um, the duct tape person is. Is it a crew member or is it a guy who's it's like. It's a crew member, I think, but like, I like it. I like this a lot. This bitch tried to kill them. You, 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 oh you, my you. God. Wait, is that a grandma or is it a green-haired girl? Green-haired girl. This looks like a middle-aged woman. It's a green-haired crazy girl. She allegedly attacked the flight. Hey, she bit the flight attendant. Sis was wallet. It's it's all video from after the flight. Yeah, it wasn't when it actually Damn. happened. Damn. Yeah, I wanted this is what I wanted. You wanted to see this shit. But what are you what what you doing? If you if the person next to you is like, all right, I'm out and trying to open the door, do you I'm out. First like, of all, if I see that person go try to open the door, I'm beating that ass. Number one, it's a free ass whoop you can hand out. And you, if you don't know about <laughs> men, <laughs> sometimes we just get angry. We walk around, we need to give out ass whoopers, and we can't. So we just like gotta drive and live your life. <laughs> so if you get see a free ass whooping that you what can the give fuck? out, some dudes like I'm gonna open the door. You're like, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up right now because it's just free for me to give out. Because everybody calls you a hero afterwards, but they really don't understand you have anger issues. You're like, oh, yeah. That I'm was hero. amazing how you stopped that woman and then <laughs> threw her against the other <laughs> side of the plane. That, that was a lot, but we, we're really thinking you stopped her. She, you, she you, really you, couldn't move after you like, dealt with her. They're like, and you, and you say she tried to open the door, right? <laughs> <laughs> no one saw her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she tried to open it. All right. Yeah. We're going to trust you on it. All right. Because <laughs> you wouldn't just throw a lady across the plane. <laughs> Cause that was wild, flight, right? Because that was that was a lot. <laughs> but hey, let me get you an in-flight beer. Yeah, because in you're a hero. <laughs> in-flight beer. <laughs> Some would call you Sully. <laughs> <laughs> you're like Sully. That was amazing. You didn't uh, throw that woman across the room like that. I Just also the back. dude who was like, I don't know, is it? I don't see the flight attendant having duct tape, but if it was. I hope it's like the gay flight attendant who's like, I don't think so, honey. And yeah. then fucking wraps her up with duct tape. I think that would be hilarious. That would be. I think or, it was probably an announcement. But you probably hear the announcement. Does anyone have duct tape <laughs> <laughs> in their like, carry-on bag? Where they duct tape from? Who duct taped There's her some, down? They probably have some emergency duct tape. You ever seen a movie? And when the plane going down, there's a hole in the plane and some shit, and they duct tape that shit, and somehow it keeps the plane together? No. I made that movie up right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I have never seen that I'm movie. high. I think that was Passenger 57, if you ask me. Uh, you saw that movie before? No. Passenger 57? Mm -mm. Wesley Snipes? He saved the fucking plane. Go watch mm -hmm. it. It's a classic. Have you watched it? <laughs> I haven't has seen a very it. famous line. He kicks a dude in the face, and a white guy looks at him, and, he, and then Wesley Snipes says, always bet on black. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real line in the movie. And that's a real movie. 
<laughs> Fuck yeah. All set on a plane the whole time. Passenger 57. It's so good. I, li- I like playing movies. I watched some movies. fucking Liam Neeson a movie plane on a plane a recently, great... and he's 72 years old, and he had to convince me that he was beating up Nate Parker. And I was like, Nate Parker's kind of swole, younger black guy. And, he, you know, I watched that shit. Wesley Snipes in his heyday was whooping ass, man. He was, he was. He was Blade. He was. Oh, yeah. I don't. I would believe that okay. Wesley Snipes could do whatever so he wanted to. What I'm plane. saying is go see Passenger 57. <laughs> <laughs> Reading list. I, I I would like to see some dude be like, I got duct tape and then pull it out, but then you also look at other things in his bag and you're like, this guy's a murderer. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, this sure. guy's just carrying around zip ties but and duct okay. tape. There you go. So he's like, I know what to do. <laughs> Enjoy that. Passenger man. 57 is a 1992 American action thriller directed by Kevin Hooks. The Kevin film Hooks. stars Wesley Sipes and Bruce Payne. Bruce Payne, okay. Bruce Payne? Mm. With Snipes portraying a security consultant who finds himself forced to foil a plot to free captive terrorists during a commercial airline flight. Yep, it's so good. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Critical reviews were mixed. (laughs) (laughs) But the film was a box office success and made Snipes a popular action hero. Come on, man. Icon. You think I'm just making up shit? It introduced Snipes' famous line, always bet Thanks, on black. Thanks, Chris. You may have all that. I appreciate you as a friend. I really made all that up. <laughs> For sure. Thank Fast you, Fast 57. In Fast and Furious 9. Come on, man. They use duct tape in the spaceship. <laughs> they do. <just laughs> so, oh, really? So <laughs> you were like, what What? one do they have? Like, and I was oh, like, I keep, know you haven't seen it. keeping that shit in here for I know sure. you haven't seen it, but it's a Fast 9. I don't They're care. They're literally like, duct tape is going to save you in space. This is so yeah. many plot holes. This doesn't totally make yeah. sense. But, totally but they're immortal sense. because family is immortal. <laughs> yep. Our fingers almost touched. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I like the idea that family is immortal. Family is immortal. I, did, I guess that, is that a, is that a common phrase that I just heard? Family is right? immortal. Yeah, it is in a way. I guess you could family end it is at any immortal. Time. Okay. But no matter what, you came from somebody. Yeah, and and, and somebody really, came from for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you came in somebody, and someone came from you. Yeah. So a sealed copy of Super Mario 64 sells for a record $1.56 million. Mm-hmm. A copy of a 1996 game, uh, Super Mario 64, still sealed in its original box, sold for $1.56 million, breaking a world record that was just set two days earlier. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that much now. Wait, yeah. wait. So somebody had bought, what, one for $1 million? No. So they had bought the Zelda series on Friday for one million dollars the same so, person no someone else had. okay yeah unopened 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 mm-hmm. okay wow. yeah the legend never of- blown and i in. will say it's mario 64 was better than zelda to mm-hmm. me so i understand them um, paying a little more i did enjoy mario zelda. 64 a lot of fun yeah mario. Fun. i have the it downstairs Nintendo? i have yeah. downstairs I play it. I love Mario. I, I never got into and I, I love, love Nintendo Kong, 64, yeah, I but I never really got Nintendo into Nintendo Mario 64. Are you sure you didn't get into Mario 64? It's just Mario on 64. I played it. Maybe I just didn't have it and I'm being uh, uppity about it. Yeah, no, like Mario Pretending I'm better than you, but it's only because I could have four games and I Mario 64 wasn't one of them. 1.5, though. 1.5. Si- 1.56 million. That's a lot of money to spend on a still game. On a night, you do, I, that's not you even do, a Nintendo. That's a Nintendo 64. Yeah. That's like not that long ago. Uh, no, but yeah, I just Well, the game's early. from 1996. Chris, they're not selling these games no more. Yeah. Wow. It's, it, like, it's yeah. sealed, Chris. It's sealed. It's mm-hmm. like buying a comic book that isn't being sold in stores anymore, but and it's sealed. And you're like, oh, it's an edition number one. Like, and you don't think GoldenEye should be the one that sells for No, they might, but they probably don't have any sealed versions left. Yeah. Chris. How about a Mario Kart? Which one do you think, if Ma- it was it sealed, pro- if Ma- should oh, be the, the highest most ever? valuable oh. Nintendo it, it, 64 It would be game. between those two, for sure. Which yeah, one? GoldenEye? Sure. GoldenEye and, and then uh, Mario Kart. Ooh. Ooh, what do you think? Where do you think Donkey Kong would be? It'd be mm. on there. It'd be, it'd be lower than fucking... Yeah, uh, I loved Donkey Kong though. That was I loved. Donkey that Kong game. was really good. I don't think it was better than Zelda and Zelda Mario sixty four Z- either. Zelda's a classic ninja. Look, I love Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but I don't. Th- I think it's a PlayStation game first, so I don't mm. think it's fair it's to a, no, it's like. Cool it's not game. a Nintendo game as much as that's not Mario. True. You just played it on PlayStation. 
right? No, I played it on Nintendo. Yeah. 64? But I know it came out on PlayStation 1 first and then PlayStation 2 first. And then Tony Hawk 3 came out on Nintendo 64. Wait, N64 was out after PS2? After no, PS1. It? Hmm? It, was, it was out after PS1. Sorry, PS1. It came on PS1 first. And then it came on Nintendo 64 when it came out. But I think only only Tony Park's Pro Skater 2 came out on N64. But Are I you might sure? Be wrong. I think you're wrong, Your bro. Memory I feel right like now. I got Nintendo 64 at the beginning. No, PlayStation came out after N64, didn't it? What you're saying makes sense. But I feel like Tony Hawk Pro Skater was originally a PlayStation I think you just got game. it on a different one. Okay, no, I'm reading it for you right now. Yeah? Yeah. It came what out on PlayStation first. You're right. Yes. It came out that <laughs> yes. September 29th, 1999. It came out on N64, February 29th, 2000. So. But it was Pro Skater 1. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I Just feel like I remember 2. Out, What's the one with the warehouse? Isn't that 2? Is this the Pro one Skater that I always play on yours? Yeah, 2. You play 2. I love 2. I, I'm like this is I wasn't that deep into it. You don't. I you was play Tony Hawk. Pro I love Tony Hawk. No, Tony Hawk Pro Skater was good. It was it was Mario actually a really good Donkey fucking Kong. game. Oh and no, then, I played Super uh, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. That's wait. Wasn't that's there? My shit. Wasn't there NBA game too on? An Nintendo yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. You had Hang Time. Oh, you had I love NBA hang Jam. Time. Yeah, I played the, the, uh, those three, and that was it. Uh, hang Time hang or time was or, j- or uh, NBA Jam. What it, whichever one my brother said, I don't know. I was, used to just play I, when they weren't home. I I love Hang Time, and I feel like everybody else loves NBA Jam, but I, I love liked Hang NBA Time too. Hang I played Hang Time. Time. So we had Hang Time at um the um Boys and Girls Club in Chicago at James Jordan Boys and Girls Club Center. So I used to play Hang Time on the arcade Fuck version yeah. all the time. Oh, so then um, oh, it was NBA Jam. It was NBA Jam. Oh. NBA Jam. T E. What was you playing? You asking me two tournament specific. edition? I don't know. Oh, you played Mortal Kombat. I, I absolutely played that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I know so many of the announcers' things that are just burned into my brain. Oh, like what? four, three, go! Oh. He couldn't hit the backside. Yeah, of I know the all bar. the raps and everything on this shit. Big Bertha. Like I remember, like all these fucking. Do you remember the raps though? Say. Oh fuck! NBA hang time. <laughs> Midway presents NBA hang time, yeah. and, and then, then went um. How that shit go? Yeah. Whole, it all rap go with it. I know what you're I know the whole rap too. <laughs> shit, I gotta fucking remember. It's like two <laughs> leaders. They're like, hey, bang, bang, here we go. I don't know. No, it's a real dude rapping on that shit. Oh, I you totally like right. type it. If you voice. get it, yeah, Chris, I like it. Four, yeah. three. What? What else did he have? The tomahawk. Oh, I wow. remember a lot of this. Mm-hmm. Chris knew he wasn't going to be a player. He was focused on the yeah. announcers. I was like, this <laughs> he announcer. Play, he didn't play He's the game. He just, <laughs> Can I play the announcer? <laughs> just imagining you in the background, just practicing your announcing voice <laughs> as a kid. Yeah. Everyone's just playing the game, and Chris is in the back like, eight for three. <laughs> they're, they're like, Chris, why don't, you, why don't you be the announcer again? We'll play again. <laughs> Let me <They're>, see. <laughs> leaving me out. Oh, yeah. What you going to do? No, I was pretty good at that game. Oh, sure. Sure. I feel like I'm on a select menu right now. I feel like I'm changing the color of Dennis Robin's hair. What you gonna do? Hang time, y'all. I like the rip tip. What y'all think? Stop, no, right now. No, stop. These things don't pack this. They never like this. I didn't so use this one, Chris. Oh, Chris, you know the words. Chris, Chris. I didn't know no, I knew these words. I know the other words. Boop. There it is. Is it I'm in the zone? <laughs> yeah, I got the arcade theme, I think. Oh, oh shit. Voice. That's a different theme song. That was M Doc. I don't know who that I, I, is. I didn't. Those words just came from the back of my yeah, brain. Yeah, I'm like, how did you know? I had no idea. This is me. I still know this one. <laughs> you know this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, uh, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I like if that. y'all can see me on YouTube, we're, I'm we're demonetized on YouTube right now, but I don't even care. <laughs> Ain't nobody looking care. for this shit. We good. <laughs> I don't even care. I, I'm in the zone. This is selecting players. Yeah, right? this one got six six minutes and thirty seconds. That I did not need. So I didn't want to play the full thing. 
I'll listen. But just know, <laughs> <laughs> just know it's a rap in there that I really knew too. I'll be choosing Toronto Raptors right now. Oh, okay. I'll be putting a little John Stockton, Carl Malone duo together on the Raptors. On the jazz, wow. on okay. The jazz. So you trade them? Over I might trade in Hornacek for the second half. I like that. I, 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 I go there sometimes. I go there sometimes. <laughs> yeah. The Jazz were a good team to pick. They were definitely because <laughs> Hornacek, right. Hornacek was wet ball boy. He used to shoot that thing crazy. And then we all know the cheat codes in the corner. So as long as you can get to the corner and cross motherfuckers up in the corner, yeah. and then you get that three off one, you're good. Yeah. Do a little Nick Van Exel. <laughs> so there's this article on BuzzFeed where people are opening up about the biggest sexual red flags, and they think everyone should take notes. So I'm going to tell you some of the red flags. So one of them is when they say they don't believe in STIs. Mm. Mm. Is that, that is a, a person? Flag. Yeah, who Some, would be like, I don't believe in someone them? Someone said that. Another one, my friend had a one night stand with a coworker and in the middle of it, he told her he wanted to peel back her skin and fuck her muscles. So yeah, if I heard something he like that, drugs, I would <laughs> probably be a red flag. <laughs> Damn, that would be rough. That'd be rough. Like, I really like this guy. But then in the middle of sex, he said he wanted to peel back my skin. Yeah, and fuck my, and muscles. fuck my muscles. I haven't worked out in months. <laughs> <laughs> Another one said a red flag would be poop smell. Everyone give it that extra wipe for your partner. Shower oh, often. <laughs> I thought this was funny. Come on. Fun. <laughs> this is trash. <laughs> poop smell. Poop smell's not that bad. <laughs> If a girl smells like poop, that's not a deal breaker. Look, some people smell like poop. Oh, I thought you were saying for real. Like, if you was hitting that from the back and you smell poop, you wouldn't be like, I gotta stop. No, that doesn't. Wait, sound. Chris, you're saying you wouldn't? No, I was just what? joking as if, like, I smell like poop. Uh, no, I don't. I, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, poop smell, you gotta think that. About makes it. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's nice. a pretty easy call for me. Um, When they moan someone else's name. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What? These are whack. I don't think that's a deal breaker. These are also whack. What? I'm just joking. I, I haven't heard I think one These are all one. very obvious deal breakers. <laughs> but that would suck if you were in a good place with somebody and then one of these things happened in the middle of an interview. Yeah, if like, I'm know. having sex with someone and they say someone else's name. Who yeah. would even? Who the fuck and is even saying like names out here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm not even asking you to say my name. It's certain shit. I just be like, I don't even fucking get it. Like, no, I don't. Like, I don't. Let's get into it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I always tell people when a like, girl be like, mm, uh, like, I ain't never been a dude to be like, whose pussy is this? Okay, that's a little aggressive. It's like, it's yours. Uh, that's your pussy. You keep your pussy. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, for me, it's like, it's not mine. That's your vagina. You, that is, you are a woman that owns this, like, my dick. Uh, it's not your dick. I will never tell you this is your dick. I will never be like, this is your dick. Yeah, this is your dick. <laughs> like, no, it's mine. Gotta go this pee. Is, Let me go. <laughs> this is my dick. This is my dick. Take back the dick, man. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> Can we pause stuff still? I don't know what's going on in the world. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, these are terrible. So, <laughs> do we have a question? Questions. Question. Oh, this one's funny. If you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, all right, all right. I, I got some because I actually have had people say, what if you ask, ask Reddit questions? And so here's one from Ask Reddit. Uh, your consciousness is sent back to when you were 15. And you maintain all of your current knowledge and experience. What do you do? Your current, what your consciousness is sent back to when you were 15? Yeah. And you did what? You, I mean, you kind of get to live life forward, but you're like, boom, you're back to where you were when you were 15. Oh, and I would. You mean mentally? How, I'd know exactly what I would do. No, not mentally. Like you, you go back in time. I am. That's what I'm thinking. You go back in time. And you relive your life. And you're 15. Your consciousness so is it's sent back. Like your thirty-year version of I yourself. I don't want to fucking be fifteen. So I know it sucks. It, it kind of sucks. Advice. No, it's saying like you go back to being fifteen, but already having lived until you're thirty, so you know everything you know now. You know everything I you know now. But we already again. did. This, yeah, right? sorry, it sucks. You, you, you got you so got, what, you you got a witch's get, curse on so you. So what? We get to go fucking make up stuff. We yeah, you create 15. Uber, nigga. Oh, I would totally. Agree. Oh, what that's a mean? good like, one. Right away, that's not what y'all think. Oh, y'all crazy. I'm right away taking over the world. I'm gonna just 
Uh, yeah, I, oh, you create those. everything. I own Amazon, yes. Uber. And I would totally then not we are Then we flash forward to me having a fucking lawsuit against America. I have a monopoly <laughs> on everything. You see me in court and shit. I'm fighting hard. Uh, no, yeah, I would go and just take over the world. Why not? You, I, do, I do good stuff with it, too. <laughs> this kind of takes us back to the fucking last question we had, guys. Let's focus. All right. <laughs> hey, Chris, come on. New question. New question. People are like, I'd save more money. I'd take better care of my teeth. I, I would not eat as much junk. Yeah, not those to, are Reddit people. They talk like that's how Reddit people talk. Not to worry so much. I appreciate the irreplaceable things more. Not to say some mean, wrong things I said. Choose a different career path. They say stuff like that, but we're like, yeah, the different career path is starting Amazon, you idiot. Yes. <laughs> Come on. You have all the knowledge you have today. What is something that people turn into their whole personality? And I think that's an interesting thought. Veganism. Um, yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, veganism is a good one. Um, being jobs. like like weightlifter or, or fitness people. Oh, yeah, that's true. Fitness yeah. people. Oh, God. <laughs> dancers. Oh, don't even get me started on dancers. I've never mentioned this before, but fucking hanging out with dancers is the worst thing you can do in life. <laughs> dancers just dance. They just fucking don't stop. Dance. You could be in like the most normal place where you're just trying to live a normal life, like at Starbucks, Five, six, and your fucking seven, friends eight. next to you pop locking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will take a vintage, motherfuckers. Not fucking dancing, fam. Like, chill out with that shit. So yeah, dancers. But I have a lot wait, of dancer wait. friends who might hate me for saying that. But yeah, just be normal. Like, all, your, all your dancer friends are gonna be insecure. My right? dancer friends, They're I go places like, with them. They, they do real choreography too, like together. Mm-hmm. Like they they see each other and they're like, oh my god. And he just break out into full on choreography for every song. I'm like, there's no way you did, you know, choreography for all these songs. Are you, are you just like hearing beats and be like, this beat feels like this? Let's do that one. Yeah, and that feels mm-hmm. fair. But for whatever reason, I feel like they've never duplicated the choreography. They just get out and they just dance and they all like, oh my god, this random Beyonce song and then this song and then over here in this song and they've danced for all these people. So it makes sense, mm-hmm. but they haven't done this for everybody. It'll be like a random motherfucker. It'll be like Montel fucking Jordan. <laughs> like Montel Jordan hasn't fucking performed since '96, <laughs> and they'll know a whole choreography to it. And you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry to that's that's take I you like down it. that path, um, but I feel like not that I have anything against anyone that believes in this stuff, but people that believe in a lot of like horoscope things. They oh, yeah, definitely. for sure. That becomes your whole personality. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm a Gemini. I meet motherfuckers. They look at me like they know me already. They're like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, when's your back day? <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> uh, Sterling. Um, but then you're like, yeah, my birthday's in June. Oh, my God. You're a Gemini. You're a Gemini? Uh-uh, I can't talk to you. You kill people. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> is that what Jim and I are doing out here? Yeah, What's your so. zodiac sign? Like, is that? <laughs> where Aquarius is. Yeah, where Aquarius. I don't know zodiac. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about zodiac signs. What does that mean about you guys? It's water, right? Well, all your I water know is that our, signs, super our dope. signs go together. Aquarius and Gemini's and Libras and Aries all go together. It's also trick. It's also easy to trick somebody who uh, whose personality is zodiac uh, to like engage with you. Uh, whether you know anything or not because you do a lot of like they're like what's your sign you'd be like guess or you be like um uh you just say any ra- when they go guess my sign you just say any random sign you just say really clearly uh aries and they're like no i'm a capricorn you're like oh of course you are and yeah. they're, they they feel excited about they it. do i used to run that shit in the club <laughs> at all times excuse me I would just say to the girls, like, oh, no, I'm not telling you my sign. I tell you my sign, because I really, number one, didn't want to talk about the sign shit, because I don't know shit about the sign shit. So I don't want to get this combo of you swearing to God that you know me, and I don't know anything about signs, so I can't say I know you back. <laughs> so you win every time. <laughs> so it sucks. So, so for me, I would just be like, oh, okay. So then when girls be like, I probably know your sign. I could guess your sign. Just out the way you act. And you'd be like, this is fun, because you're going to get it right regardless. <laughs> And a girl tells you, you're a Leo, huh? You'd be like, so you really know this sign shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was a Leo, huh? 
And then for the whole night, you let her think you're Leo. You talk to her the whole night. She's saying you're doing Leo shit the whole night. Saying how you act like a Leo. You doing this thing because it's all fucking fake and it's all vague enough that people wanted to pertain to them. They will, it will pertain to them. And she tells me the whole night how I'm a Leo. And you're such a Leo, and everything you do is a Leo. And you got Leo tendency and Leo's this, Leo that. And then as she's walking away, you say, "Hey, sweetheart." I'm a fucking Gemini, you crazy person. And, and she goes, leaves. oh my God, that was such a Gemini yes, move. Yes, every time. Every time. That every is time. just what a Gemini Because they want to believe so much that they'd be like, that was my second guess. The skies themselves. <laughs> that was Leo. my second guess. And you're like, no, it wasn't. But then have you ever sat down with somebody who has like a fucking book and all of a sudden they're like, you, what time were you born? And, act, and then they start to say things that are like way too specific and you're like, wait a second, this isn't relatable. No. Ever. You never had this experience? Yeah, yes, I've, I've had I've, you know, I've had something yeah. similar. And you never, you weren't like, okay, that's a little, that doesn't apply to everybody, but it does to me. I think sometimes, but I also think that like a bro clock is right twice a day. I don't think that it's like not real at all. I don't think, like, yeah. I, I believe 100% that the waves correspond with the fucking moon and the moon can I could see it making sense. 1,000% yeah. I think it makes sense. But I also, I'm like, I'm not living my life based on it. And people who do are just, I'm just like, I'm good. Like, you ain't never like mess with a chick and she be like, download co-star and you'd be like bitch get you <laughs> every time i ask my mama time I'm crazy born, she's like me. why do you need to know what time you were born Courtney? just yeah because alive. people ask you and you'd be like i know what time i was born i know the whole my whole life my mom told me for whatever reason when i was young she told me when i was like four what time are you born 12 44. oh nice i was p.m or p.m p.m 12 40 i was 259 Okay, so we're so both, we're both like right You know before. what that means? Yeah, yeah that yeah. It means that <laughs> we both have means that we were born in the afternoon. We were it said, we would create a podcast together. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, what it it said that and we were like, what is the fucking podcast? <laughs> this is a weird book. What is a podcast? <laughs> the book says we'll create a podcast. And why would they not create one first? <laughs> <laughs> the number one an answer on Reddit is conspiracy theories. Uh, which are definitely something that people you would go what change conspiracy theories? no change your personality into conspiracy yeah. theories oh conspiracy oh, theorists oh, conspiracy are like theorists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i believe in conspiracy theories and this is all i got which well, i think is a lot of cueing on people they're like yeah they're like hey this is i finally have something interesting to say what should we watch on um was it how to with john the mandela effect the mandela Club. effect Club. oh yeah, yeah that's crazy though that one is crazy though that's crazy that one is crazy though it's all the that things crazy. that you think you remember that never existed <laughs> i'm like nah there's some shit no, like, there's some i shit. know for a fact that what what is it that she's, it's the shack one the genie shazam? one she's the, no no it's kazam you shack. think that you there mean, no, no, is a movie with, with Sinbad. yes Sinbad. that shit happened no that's but Sinbad but she, as a genie. never did so i think what happened there was this okay <laughs> tell i think me, that there me. was a poster you know back in the day there'd be movies that said coming soon Mm -hmm. There'd be yeah. movies that said coming soon, and there would be movies that they had fucking on one date, and you would continuously see the poster get pushed back. Because mm -hmm. the studios, it wasn't like you could do the shit like you can now, where everything is like a line, they got the system together. Back in the days, it'd be like, yo, this is coming out in June fucking 92. And then you look up, and they, that movie has not come out in June 92. And then they're like, it's coming out in December, and it does not. And then the next mm -hmm. year comes out some shit. You're like, okay, cool. So I think that Shazam was announced too soon. Oh. And that they fucking pulled it. It never happened. It never shot. Because we all know that it exists. We, it, we know it exists for sure. And we Everyone can't that thinks crazy. that there is a movie called Shazam starring Sinbad where he plays a genie. genie. Yeah. But that should never existed. And then this year, Sinbad said it did exist, but I think he's trolling everyone. I think he's definitely trolling. I don't think it ever oh. did exist. Everyone has this memory everyone that has Sinbad this memory. was yeah, but how we all have in memory. a genie movie. I have the memory. We do, we do. We all have I imagine him wearing we big shoes. And they, yeah, we all remember with this round shit. round little thing. And they told us it did not happen anymore. And, and the, certain Shaq things. played a genie. Sinbad played a uh, Secret Service agent. First know? kid. First kid, guys. <laughs> but but mm. no, there was no Sinbad genie movie. But there's been a whole bunch of other things. It wasn't just a Sinbad genie movie. There's been tons of shit from yeah. like, from like, Actual logos on that brands, the oh, yeah, brands, Looney Tunes, on. not yeah. Looney Tunes, like yeah. the logos. I'm looking up examples right now. There are a whole bunch, and that we definitely mm -hmm. vividly remember. I also believe that some of that shit was uh, location based. You know, like if you grew up mm -hmm. around like Checkers, then you knew if you lived in certain other places, it was called rallies. If you lived in other places, it was called the other shit. So I think a lot of the shit would be like you would remember something one way, and then 
the rest of the nation didn't because they didn't have. But it that there's way. no record of a lot of these things. I yeah. hear you, but what does that mean, Chris? My we have the internet. All we have is the internet. My favorites are object and mirror are closer than they appear. That's everywhere. What is it? It's it's objects and mirror may be closer than they appear. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. is is what we think it says. It actually it has never said objects and mirror may be closer than we they appear. It says objects and mirror are closer than they appear. Okay, question. But we this, always think it says may be closer when they appear. This is another example of it. Pikachu's tail. Did he have black on his tail or not? Yes. Yeah, he had a little black on his tail. He did not. No bullshit. Let me see. It's just yellow. No, it's not just yellow. No, Pikachu had. Uh, um, He's got a little shadow. He had black on his hair. I mean, on his tail for a little while. That's for sure. what I thought. And they're saying he no. cut that shit off. I mean, he died or some <laughs> shit. Like, that's, that's pretty. Easy. It grew out. Yeah. But yeah, they're saying in reality he never had that. What that? I swore Pikachu did. That's no, the one you went with, though. Like, <laughs> but but y'all y'all I, agree, no, I agree with you. I agree, Courtney. I agree with you. I just thought <laughs> it was some really strong ones our viewers at home could have got <laughs> that we were like the right? raisin brand sun. The raisin brand sun. Yeah, sunglasses. So the raisin brand has sun sunglasses does not have. They say he don't got sunglasses. He, he has never sunglasses. has. That nigga was the coolest son ever no, growing up. He doesn't have. He sunglasses. took his sunglasses off. Now he's just a regular ass son. And they're lying to us. The Raisin Brand son definitely has sunglasses. He never had. You know there's why I know no record of him. Well, I know he has sunglasses because he was the fucking fifth member of the Raisin Nets. He was the fucking honorary member of the Raisin Nets. Do you think that yeah. that's California what we Raisins, think? guys? California Raisins. Are we linking it? Is that the where maybe that raisin, comes Raisins used to come inside Raisin Brand growing up. And those raisins definitely had wore sunglasses. sunglasses. Them niggas was hot. Yes. <laughs> Them niggas was indoors next to Young Jeezy with their sunglasses on in the club. You sure. guys had California Raisin commercials in, yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did. You guys, didn't have, you guys had them everywhere. That's awesome because they're great, right? Yeah, that was California. This motherfucker, y'all got one thing. It's but cool. did you guys have California? It's the cheese. <laughs> Probably not, not, right? Not. Yeah, because you guys had a bunch of cheese. You guys had like Wisconsin cheese. <laughs> the fuck? What, <laughs> that shit was out the blue. <laughs> I, I am going to love if that's not it's a real phrase. He just made it there up was right a big, now. There's a big cow campaign in California when I was growing up, along with the Got Milk one. Called It's the Cheese? Yeah. Yeah, It's the Cheese. That's a weak-ass campaign, Chris. I ain't going to with that's you. That's a little it's the Cheese? Yeah, yeah it's kind of weak. First of all, like, is it saying, like, just regular cheese to eat? Because that's a white people thing, too. Black people don't really be out here just, like, going for cheese plates and shit. <laughs> I'm saying we might do it a little bit. I that, thought everybody loves cheese. No. Only sharp cheese. No, Only we go. We, we eat cheese, cheese just to be like, we can eat cheese, too. We do it just to be like, y'all ain't the only uh, niggas that can eat cheese. Well, but, like, well, you know, dairy got pushed on. Speaking of being a conspiracy theorist. Like dairy dollar? got pushed on us super hard. Got milk real? commercials? Yeah. Got milk commercials? Yeah. You ever wonder who no. the fuck made got milk commercials? It was the government. They put a huge yeah, budget into selling milk because they had a big surplus of milk. Yeah. They had a big surplus of powdered milk and they were trying they're trying to put fucking milk cheese in everything. We don't need dairy for and, our diet. It's and, all a fucking conspiracy. And, and they said that, that milk was like this calcium shit was really helping our bones and build strong. And they Found that, that, that shit, shit. was no. They found that shit wasn't even true. It was like that shit was whatever. The shit was whatever. Milk do a body good. It did not do anybody's good. Not one body has been done good by milk. Not one, not one. body has been like what. Claudia loves milk, milkshakes, milk, fucking dairy. Mm. She's a huge milk. Nah, proponent. milk ain't so never done right nobody milk right, milk fam. And if you black, we know milk ain't even yeah. out here <laughs> for you. That thing running through you crazy, <laughs> fam. Milk's you know, running through you everyone. You know, motherfucking milk, milk, man, you don't, if you don't know, milk is tearing down the black community more than anything. Milk, <laughs> milk comes after the black community. First of all, if you're in a black family, you watch it go down from each person in your house. <laughs> You watch each booty hole get looser when the milk gets your daddy first, the first person that be like, I can't eat that no more. You be like, What are you talking about, fam? I don't even like if we could all eat dairy products and milk, it's fine. And then I'm the baby, so that's how I saw it. And then I watch each person get I'll be able to Yeah, I'll hit the kryptonite if one day it'd be like the milk got me, nigga. Black <laughs> toast. <laughs> you, you like you just say black toast? Black toast. Oh, said, but I like black toast. Black toast is hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> black toast is dollars, bro. So uh the, the milk the milk yeah, hits me like uh, and you know what? I fought it for many years. I still fight it because I don't think milk does me that crazy. I thought you said I farted for many Not, years. <laughs> basically. No, no, I, I fought it for many years. 
And like I still don't know if I'm like really lactose and stuff. I can still eat like cheese, cheese and shit. Yeah. I, I can't get ice cream. I can eat I, I eat ice cream. I do fine. But I also poop five times a day, so I, <laughs> I I'm not able to really measure where the lactose intolerance is kicking my ass versus where I'm just having a good day. <laughs> oh it gets God. really blurred. <laughs> Because we had a bunch of dairies <laughs> and we had a surplus in the 20s during the Great Depression of milk and they didn't know what to do with all the fucking milk because we had too many dairies. So they turned it into powdered milk and the government just fucking bought it. They were like, let's take it. They have this huge surplus of milk. And so they start subsidizing milk. So we put milk in everything. We put milk in baked goods. We put milk in macaroni This country and is built on milk. All <laughs> of this stuff. It's all because of this huge surplus that the government had. So they subsidized it, subsidized it just to fucking give the milk away. But all we really need is tea milk. But that's all we need, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all all, we, we, all need. we need. You know, my conspiracy theory is all we need is titty milk. Uh, here's another good answer. That's a healthy conspiracy, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good one, actually. What's something that people turn into their personality? Disliking something. Ooh, yeah. oh, I dislike shit. That's me. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Larry David oh, does space. it. Larry David does it. And I like the fact that Larry David does it. It makes me think he's the best person ever. He's so funny on just disliking shit. And I realized that was me growing up. I was like, I just. A wise man once said. Being in a healthy relationship is not about liking the same things. It's about disliking the same things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, that shit is so real. If we can hate together, bitch, we are strong. <laughs> I, I, I took this for disliking everything, which I guess is different than disliking something. Disliking something... Mm -hmm. I'm all for disliking something and bonding over disliking something. Give me something you dislike. But if you're somebody who dislikes everything and Give you turn into your personality, I, fucking shut I up. Don't like. Give me some shit that you just like. I fucking hate this, and we should really address this. Racism. I'll, I'll throw it out there, but I don't want racism to be my my answer. But just racism. I hate we, it, guys. Let's okay. throw it away. I, okay, we I hate know, racism. I'm joking. Too. I'm joking. I just want to get that out of the way. Okay, next thing. Go. Mm. Funny stuff. Good stuff. What do I fucking hate? I yeah. Don't know what I hate. I don't, fucking I don't, hate. Mm. I fucking hate. Oh, well, let's go, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. Don't what really do I fucking hate? I See, hate. I'm not that much of a hater. I mean, I feel like you got 20 things lined up. I know, and I'm like, I feel like I have no, none right now. What do you mean, you guys not haters? You guys definitely hate stuff. You don't hate like waiting in line. You don't hate like. Oh, fuck? I hate waiting in line. I absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I gotta oh, think fuck. for you. God damn it. I hate you thinking for, for you. Me. I hate God fucking thinking it. for you. you. Did. Damn it, you did for me. Waiting in line. Yeah, I was you, ready to go on the on waiting in line. Depends how long the line is. If it's like one person, I'm okay. If it's a few people, I'm not okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Now okay I'm mad you. that you fed it to me. I, you know what I hate right now? Yeah. I don't like that Ooh. with Postmates. Yeah. It's no longer Postmates drivers and it's now Uber, Uber drivers. Eats. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Courtney. I Let's talk about it, it, Courtney. I hate it. You have to tip them beforehand instead of after. But what if they don't bring me my order right? This, open, this episode is sponsored by Postmates. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, it I hate me, that. I fucking hate it so because angry. Uber bought fucking Postmates and Postmates used to be like an intimate thing that we all felt yeah. like we had Postmates in California. We're like, Postmates is our thing. Because when you travel to other states, they don't really use Postmates like that. Like, they don't really fuck with it. It's, it's whatever. Grubhub, I think, is the most popular or DoorDash mm -hmm. across yeah. the nation. But you go to other places and Postmates is hit or miss, whatever, cool. In California, we all kind of live on fucking Postmates. We you use do. it for everything. everything. It's fucking great. And mm -hmm. now it's Uber Eats. It's the worst fucking thing. Mm -hmm. It'd be random niggas just being like, I think I might pick up your order, fam. I'll let you know in a few. They don't even <laughs> notify you when be, they're there no more. It'd be weird old shit going like that. And it'll take an hour yeah. on shit that you know next door to your crib. You're like, fam, it's on the corner. Why is somebody taking an hour to bring me this food? And it's because Uber Eats now. I hate that this Uber... Because they'll probably sponsor I an episode hate in the future. To do Uber. <laughs> yes, I know. Uber, I please. Fucking hate but Uber. fucking yeah, I gotta get, get it together, together Uber Eats. No, yeah. but I'll keep dissing Uber. Well, I hate, I used to hate taxi cabs. Like, I hated how you had to call 30 minutes before, mm -hmm. and then it would be way too much to get Uber fucking anywhere. Uber taxing niggas now. And mm -hmm. now it feels like Uber is a fucking taxi cab. No, it's taxing. It takes forever. Yeah. And they charge you $17 crazy. $17 to get 10 blocks. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, no, this is why I fucking left taxi cabs, <laughs> which I fucking hated. Yeah. So I hate that shit. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some shit I like. You know I what, baby? I'm sorry to keep on the waiting lines thing. I, you know what I love? Avoiding lines 
in yeah, like the most thug brilliant life, way. Thug life. I love calling ahead to a restaurant when I'm 15 minutes away. I will yelp on the free. I know this isn't a good like role model thing, but I will yelp on the freeway to find the restaurant's the number. Fuck looking up to you so I can call ahead. <laughs> Oh, so I can call ahead. I, I, I hate when I'm at a restaurant and okay. someone's smoking a cigarette right outside where people are eating. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh. okay, Courtney. You smoke, you hate a lot of stuff too. And I'm over here like, open. wait a minute, I got you some do, hate. You hate some shit, Courtney. I yeah. hate a lot of stuff. Let me think. Let me think now. I just saw something. I was like, I hate that. I hate I hate racist dress codes that be like acting like they ain't racist. No, nobody goes for that. Yeah, I've seen that happen. Dress codes happen times. all day to black oh, like, men. Yeah, like you can't wear. Like they know shorts, how black men. You, yeah, you can't wear sneakers, and you're like, you wear, yeah, who is yeah, this yeah, target yeah. toward? I. Mm-hmm. Oh black yeah. Folks. White people don't have to think about that shit because they wear hard yeah. bottoms with everything. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I Niggas mean, will have them shorts <laughs> and hard bottoms. <laughs> yeah. You be like, all right, I get it. <laughs> cool, fair, fail. <laughs> Looks kind of cool, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I've also seen so many. I've also seen. Uh, Dress codes probably you've probably seen it much more than me, but I've seen dress codes like literally back to back uh, be used to keep black people out. When I was in Brazil, oh, all yeah, the like time, the yeah. same, yeah. The like, same fucking hat, yeah. yeah, the same hat, get worn in a it's different like, way. It's a white guy in there with it backwards, quote, quote. and yeah. you're like, well, why yeah. can he wear that hat? And then like, it's a team hat. You like what? Because I don't have a team on my shit right mm-hmm. now. Like, well, he's rooting for the Red Sox or whoever it is, and you're like. That's bullshit. Like, it's the same fucking cap. You're just saying, no, well, sir, the rules are the rules. Mm-hmm. They hit you with that shit, and you'd be like, what the fuck does that even mean? I had a rule today that was some bullshit. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck you, TSA. If I see a little bitch, no, I don't want to get into it all, y'all. But look, understand this, you little blue collar, literally, motherfuckers. Um, I think it's black collar, actually, up top, and it's blue. <laughs> I'm like, else. where's That didn't go over well. Um, TSA was the ones who stopped me today. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to a weed community so I can talk freely, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so right now, LAX, for the last three years, if you fly out of LAX, you can fly with under 28.5 grams of marijuana, mm-hmm. which is an ounce. Yes, you can fly out of LAX with for the last three years now. You can fly out, put in a carry-on. They can look at it and everything. Be like, that's weed. I'm flying. As long as you're flying to a legal state, they, they'll let you know. Hey, legal. as long as you're flying to a legal state. Well, it's yeah. this. It's this. You can, is that what it is? I don't know. It's legally you can fly wherever you want to. They're going to let you know when you get to their jurisdiction, we can't do anything for you if it's not legal there. Mm-hmm. So legally, you can fly wherever you want. They don't, they're not going to check your ticket and say, oh, no, you seem to be flying to Hawaii. It's illegal there. I don't know. But, it is illegal <laughs> but you're not going to get in trouble at LAX. No, at LAX, you're or fine. Weed. Right? So you can fly out, cool. As long as you're flying to legal states, as I would or as anyone would, you're fine. So I was flying today from Nevada. No, so you can fly out of Nevada. So I, in Nevada, it's legal in Nevada uh, for marijuana, which is still like really weird in Nevada because I always say like it's still like ran like in this weird old way where it's like you know corporations, big corporations don't want to be attached to marijuana. So you can smoke cigarettes in casinos, but you can't smoke weed, which is legal in both. Both of them are legal. So why can't you smoke one, not the other? I don't know. Guess they'll figure it out. We haven't figured it out, but neither here or there. Cool. Um, you can't smoke weed in public in Nevada still, right? It's legal everywhere. But, it's but, the same. It's the same exact laws we have here. But but I guess a private establishment can obviously yes, say. private establishment anywhere though. Los yeah. Angeles or in Nevada sure. can tell you, hey, we don't want you smoking. If you walk property. up to the street in Vegas, can you smoke? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah, you can. Can you do that in L? I guess you can. You can. I don't. I. I you can do that in L. A. You me- can do it in New York. Rules were that you, you can do it in New York. I just smoked the blunt in New York street. with one of my homies, and the police were two feet away from us. Oh, sick! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You can, you can, no, no. And, he, and he's white, and he was like, let's go blow it in their faces. And I was like, get your white ass out of here. <laughs> he about to blow this motherfucking smoke in their face, man. I'm already scared. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on over here. I don't know if I can do this shit legally. This feels crazy. But uh, you can. Um, you can do it also here. You can smoke weed in public. You can't, you just can't. You, like, if a private establishment says we don't allow smoke in here, you can't smoke in there, whatever. So I know you can fly with 28.5 grams of marijuana. Out of LAX into a different state. Yeah, K, you can also fly out of there. Twenty eight five, same thing. So I assume all states you can fly in and out, right? 
Because TSA is the one who's checking it, and they are the ones who get to say yes or no, whatever. And today we're flying through, and I have a big joint on the side of my ear, and I got some weed in my bag, right? I'm like, all right, cool. And I tell Lana, like, you know, as we get through, going through the metal detectors, and they're like, it's crazy. I got weed on my ear and weed in the bag. It's crazy you can do this legally. It's insane. <laughs> it really is insane. I didn't think we ever get to this day where you can do this. And he's like, mm. Nigga, you can't, but uh, no. So then my bags went through and they were like, I want to check your bags for certain things. There was like a little jewelry in there that comes up black because mm -hmm. uh, jewelry pops up black if it's like actual gold or something within your bag, they want to see what it is. So they checked and I was like, oh, it's a little jewelry, cool, whatever. Uh, you can go through, but right as I'm about to go through, dude pulls out the weed and was like, what's this? I'm like, that's weed. <laughs> 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 and he was like, you can't fly with this. And I was like, yeah, I can. And I pull up articles and things from LAX, and I'm like, well, I'm flying into LAX, I'm flying to LA. You know, it's legal to fly with 28.5 grams in and out. He's like, no, federally it's not. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Federally what? Like, how, why would LAX be letting me do some federal illegal shit for the last three years? <laughs> yeah, aren't airports federal? Fam, land? Exactly. It's like, why are you making up this rule right now? He was like, yeah, federally, this is an offense. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's an offense if I fly to a different state. Number one, it's not even illegal in Nevada. How would this be an offense? Yeah, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's right. It's a loophole. It's that airports are federal land and federally it's illegal. And LAX was like, that's fucking stupid. It's legal in the airport. It's legal yeah. outside. Yeah. But these guys are like, sorry, got you. Ex We're on federal land. E exactly. So I was like, no, nah, it's not even the case. Dude goes through his whole thing. We missed our flight because of it. Really? Dude goes through a whole thing. Why did you say? Just, oh, I throw it out. Yeah, they yeah. told me. And they then told they were me, like, I'm not no, throwing, no, no, no. I'm not throwing it out. Actually, we had to get the police involved. So I'm trying to call the police over. And luckily for us, this one police officer was a sweetheart. He really was. I can't even shit on him. I don't really fuck with police normally. This dude, he was super nice. Great. He he was like, man, honestly, I feel bad for you. It's not, he's he's like, he's being an asshole a little bit, but he's trying to do his job. Just, you got to throw it out. I said, I, I told him he could throw it out. I told him he could throw it out, first of all, 25 minutes ago. He kept us for 25 minutes. Like, calling supervisors, calling this, all giving us a hard time while I'm letting him know we're boarding right now. And it's legal and in it, this state yeah, and the state, and the state, going the state I'm going to. Like, you're keeping me for what? Like, and I didn't know, obviously. And then the yeah, the police officer was like, just go throw it out. I ran, threw it out, run full speed, trying to make it to the fucking flight. Didn't make it to the fucking flight. Got there as they're shutting the door. I'm begging the dude, can we get on? He's like, no, we just gave away your tickets. All this shit. Um, I was telling this fucking story for a reason. High as shit. Of things all the weed things the things i hate. hate i hate p police normally but i also just <laughs> hate people who do try to do too much with their job sometimes when you be like fam you don't own this shit yes yes let me just fucking make that statement to you you don't own this shit mm -hmm. and sorry tsa member you're not a police officer don't try to make this a bigger thing or deal when the police himself is being like this nigga tripping Mm -hmm. Yeah, he be like, "Fam, I, my bad." I also, I'm the letter of the law, people. Over like the spirit of the law, it's like shut the fuck. Like, come on, look at what's happening right now. Yeah, you, you know, you, like you, it was forty nine red lights, sure, but I was in love. <laughs> I was in okay? love. Okay, like I don't like the people who are like, nope, forty nine red lights means you gotta go to jail forty nine times for this offense. It's a year, forty nine years in jail. Good. They do for they do for no. I hope, not. I hope <laughs> not. Have you ever been in an environment or in a, a place where you like, or do you know a place all the time that you like? You just take your job too serious. Yeah. I said TSA. Mm -hmm. Is there a person or a place DMV? I feel like a lot of times you go to DMV. You're like, why are you give me a hard time? You probably deal with a lot of people like this all the time who don't either have three fucking pieces of paperwork that prove where they live. They just move somewhere. Or whatever. It I is. hate when security guards take their. Yeah, jobs I was gonna say my security. Uh, yeah. my uncle is the security guard that takes his job too seriously. Does he watch the show? Because he can whoop your ass when he sees. No, but he puts it. He in the, you come into he shit. puts it in the family group chat every day. He's like, 
got to tell on my coworker for sleeping at the. I'm like, yo. You don't have to tell your coworker. He's he's that security <laughs> guard, and every time we're like, just leave the people alone. <laughs> yeah, anyone taking the rules too seriously and not like seeing through to like why the rules exist. Yeah, like really, really fucking. And bothers. somebody that's not like I let me help it. people. I love people that help people. Like <laughs> I don't like if you're taking your job too serious and you're make. If you're not protecting people, right? Mm -hmm. If your job is to protect something, I get that. But if you like, yo, I'm going to legitimately make somebody else's life harder just because I get nothing from it. It's not like they're like, oh, another raise for you. Thanks for snitching on your coworker. Like if you had like every time you turned in your coworker, you got a little raise. I would understand your little snitch ass snitching. But like if you just snitching just because it's like, why? To do the right Th- like it's not the right thing it's not the right thing the right thing it's not the right thing it's let that nigga I, hit that lick i also <laughs> think people who create systems and then limit themselves within that system i hate it and, and they don't get it's it as a like, system dude they think it's the law and you're like this law was no. made up and, and yeah it was Laws to, also changed nigga it was yeah. created for positivity and now you are ruining this whole thing by focusing on like the laws we laid down we're getting the goals from it you know you know what it is technology got too crazy because we used to just trust motherfuckers at the airport i'm just hate to go back to the tsa <laughs> but we used to just trust niggas at the, at the fucking 9 11 we get it we just stopped trusting niggas. Yeah, what? Did but we before just, that we just like niggas used to walk i watched the all falls down video a couple weeks back right kanye great video. video great video and that nigga common is a security guard in the video and he has to stop kanye from walking through to, to follow his girl on the plane. You remember you could follow yeah. your family to the motherfucking yeah. plane yeah, and plane. wave their ass off. You could, you could. Yeah, you could pick their yeah. ass up at the plane, bitch. Surprise! We yes. here, nigga. Yeah. In this as bitch. As soon as you get off the <laughs> as plane. As soon as you get off the plane. <laughs> we in this bitch, nigga. We came to get you. Versus like, nigga, now you lucky to find your family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm like, gonna circle around, circle around three more times. I'm gonna leave, fam. It's crazy out here. <laughs> Can you catch an Uber? What will that be? Two and a half hours? I think it's worth it. How much is it? Seven hundred dollars. It's surging. You have to take a <laughs> shuttle to the Uber to find the way to, to get. get home. You got robbed. <laughs> oh, okay, well I can't circle this shit anymore. It's driving me crazy. Just stay at a hotel near the. <laughs> Where were we? You were talking Doesn't about matter, TSA. Oh. TSA. I was saying TSA need to stop fucking taking their job so serious and stop trying to stop people from missing their fucking flights. People got family to see, things to do, places to be. You are at your job collecting your check. Somebody else might be going to their motherfucking check. If that shit is not stopping people from living, if it ain't a bomb you finding that motherfucker, then why you stopping motherfuckers just to bother them yep. over marijuana, huh? <laughs> It is legal <laughs> in the states that I was going to. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I also did say to myself seven times, this is crazy. It was fun when we, <laughs> and then they stopped me. I said, I knew this was too good it's to be true. Yeah. I'm a nigga at the end of the day. <laughs> I need to remember who I am. You're right. <laughs> That's funny that you had a joint behind your ear the whole time. They never saw the joint behind my ear. That's the funny part. They, f- I had a bucket hat on, so they ne- the joint was right here, and the bucket hat was down low, and I just kept the bucket hat on, and they never said anything to me about the joint. They never saw it once, so they like throw away the weed in my head the whole time. Like, yo, I have a whole big ass joint. It wasn't even, it wasn't even a fucking full gram in the jar. I forgot the jar was in my bag. They could have threw away the weed. I did not care about the weed. I had a big ass joint from rolling a joint before I left out the hotel room. It was behind my ear that I was like, "Did you get that on the plane?" I threw it out just because I don't trust the police. Uh, just after they had already did had you a police. Do it in a funny way, at least where you dropped the whole thing and then you kind of magician wise pulled an extra one out. From well, he ear. didn't see me because I ran fucking like legitimately um, was running like I was trying to like compete in some kind of <laughs> Olympic fucking Great. event. Yeah, I ran full speed to throw it away, then ran full speed back in hopes of catching the plane and then not catching the plane and then making a decision to take the train back to security to curse the nigga out who didn't let me through. Ooh, I, I respect that decision. Thank you. Because <laughs> I hate that shit. Fuck that dude. But also sometimes I like when people take their jobs too seriously. Sometimes I rush. Because I went to chick chick Fil A recently. I, come on, I guess I'm you getting can't in trouble. Shit on nobody at I, get in, I get in trouble anytime I promote Chick Chick Fil A, but just the 
individual employees of Chick-fil-A are just, they take their job really seriously and they're fucking killing it. They are running such a professional fast food operation over at Chick Fil A. They're, in they're in like, out. you go here, she goes here. They have tablets. We're sending you through. We got you a line. We got another person yeah. bringing it. We yeah. are cleaning yeah. up, and they yeah. are killing it. Yeah. So like, respect. I them. Wh- while I but don't, because they hate the gays. No, I'm saying I, I'm oh. I'm changing. They never stopped hating the gays, right? They're still on that side, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I, I hope all so. the employees don't hate the gays because I don't they're think all very of them do. efficient. <laughs> I think they interview them and make sure they do hate the gays, right? No, I'm joking. You never gonna take like that. Oh yeah, it's a lot of gay employees. That's that niggas like, be like, you know, we not gay. Hire me, <laughs> Chick Fil A. You need to fucking take your stands back and like understand mm-hmm. that we all people. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers can love whoever they want to love. I agree. Exactly. Come don't on, Chick Fil A. Yeah, you being a hater, don't Chick Fil A. Come around. Come around. We're fucking. You get make good chicken. You make a chicken, man. Just fucking stop being such a bigot asshole already, so we can eat your chicken. You don't and eat chicken. Raise your employees. <laughs> no, I do, they but, I, some of the but every, but you're not every happy about it. I sent a tweet recently where I was excited about the Chick Fil A and the experience I had, and I looked at my phone 45 minutes later, and people were mad because I praised Chick Fil A. Oh, oh, especially and people who follow like, you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Because if I tweeted that, my middle Americans would be like, right? <laughs> the ridiculousness fans would love it. <laughs> the history of Chick fil A is problematic. Delete this. Delete, Delete it. your account. If you got pressured into deleting the fucking Chick fil A tweet, you a little biatch. I, I don't think I deleted the Chick fil A. I tweet. think you're lying. I don't know. Ultimately, sometimes I go back and delete some tweets. I don't remember what that tweet was. And I'm not even saying you a biatch for. Uh, I think it's fine to delete your fucking tweets. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's cool. I think deleting one about Chick Fil A. If you like their chicken, man, you like their chicken. Yeah, sometimes I don't like when somebody bullies. You just be like, yo, I don't like the fact that they be on that other shit, but the chicken's fine. <laughs> Are you okay with like liking things from, I guess, corporations, people, brands, hmm. mm-hmm. um, but not liking them? Oh, I see what oh. you mean. It's like Chick Fil A. You don't like Chick Fil A. You might be like, "Yo, I enjoy the fucking food here. It's quick, it's fast, it gets to my house. I do enjoy it. It's fucking good. I don't like the y'all not rocking with the gays, right? Mm-hmm. Is that a okay stance? Are the gays like we cool with that? As long as you don't like the fact that we don't like that, but we cool with the chicken because it's good. What if I'm trying to because chick- the chicken's good? Let's what start if I'm there. trying to fix Chick Fil A from the inside? As a customer. Trojan horse in it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm a customer. I'm, a t- I'm one of you. You guys, this hating gays thing is pretty stupid, okay. you know? And I'm like, listen, I, I like the nuggets too, but this <laughs> homophobia has got to go. So what if some dude tried to argue? Yeah, I used to hang out with R. Kelly because I want to take down the... <laughs> R. Uh, Kelly from the inside. If you, if you, if you uh, really, if he did, was like, really I infiltrated tried? the system. Not. I got no. into Kale's parties. I was hanging no. out with Kale's shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> Me and him kicking it right. Also, I can let him know this whole pedophilia thing you got going on is not okay. Mm-mm, no. Yeah, no, it doesn't track. It doesn't feel as good, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you Hitlered me. Yeah, I did. You went like, but what if it was Hitler? And I went like, you think R. Kelly's Hitler? You're right. It's kind of you kind of it's he's a bit of a Hitler figure at this point. R. Kelly's not a Hitler. He's he's. I'm not saying he's Hitler. Hitler murdered Here. a lot of people. I, okay, I'm not Both saying. Both of them are trash. Yes, but, we can agree with but that. But see, there are tears of trash. But do you see how Hitler immediately makes anything in like? I went to 10 by going to Hitler. And I think you, I think R. Kelly is really bad. I don't really, think R. really, Kelly, really bad. He's really bad in the cancel. Period. When you're talking about people who got canceled, you're like, but R. Kelly and everyone's like, yeah, nobody was, even had that it. guy should get canceled. Yeah, that guy is a but monster. You understand that? That's why you so know that R. Kelly new... is still better than Hitler. I'll tell you why. Yeah. I know, Cause I know, we get hit, offended. Hit out. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because no, because we didn't have to cancel. We never even had to cancel Hitler. No, we don't. We keep this one. We never had to cancel Hitler because he was so bad. We didn't have to cancel him. Yeah, no one was. Um, well, canceling wasn't around when Hitler was around. My, we've still canceled niggas who have not been around when he was around. Our, Michael Jackson dead, motherfucker. They still try to cancel him. He did. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, Hitler's canceled Cance- for Hitler's sure. Like no, Hitler canceled didn't have to be canceled. That's how bad he was. He didn't even yeah. have to be canceled. Niggas, it was just like you are niggas bad. Niggas like you're a horrible yeah. everything. You're we don't terrible have to person. T- you're the you're literally 
if you're like the top of the bad top people, villain. Well, the war was like an yeah. effort to person. cancel. And R. Kelly's as bad as they come, and he's, I'm just saying Hitler's number one. Yeah, he is. That's what I'm saying. The man They're is. all just not nice people and deserve to go to hell. All right, did we do it? Shout uh, out to Bernie. I think we did it. I like your pants too. I ain't said nothing to you, oh. but I'm fucking with your pants this oh, week. Thanks. Yeah, yeah you, really, you really out there co- coordinating. You color coordinating over there, boy. You putting it together now. I oh, see you, boy. You've been you. really putting your time in oh, your fashion. You. you know what I'm saying? They wanted me to make sure I shouted you out. Some of the fans was like, yo, you don't give Chris enough fucking credit. Oh, so you just did it for them. No, I'm no, but the pants really is hidden. The pants oh, are really you. nice. I like the pants. I like your pants. It might not read well on camera, though. That's all I keep thinking about. You uh, might come across a little blurred on camera. Just cut in. Cut yeah, in. just cut in just straight up. I like your legs. They look nice on camera. Oh, thanks. <laughs> they look like nice legs, man. Thank you. I like these legs. Yeah, man. You know these I'm out North here. North Face. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's wild. These are hard, right? Those are dope. Brain dead. Thanks for tuning in to Wild and Weed. Yeah, biatch. We'll see you next week. Zip it up. And zip it out.